Peace, peace, love, light of healing, peace, love, light of healing, peace to the gods, peace to the earth, y'all, climb on in, climb on in. I'm only 10 minutes late today, y'all key in the building, y'all climb on in, climb on in, family, how y'all feeling, how y'all doing? Uh, y'all see what we got on the board today, we're going to be talking about how you need to take your health or make your health a priority and how our children lives truly, truly depend on it. We see what's going on in this day and age, we see what's going on with the government, we see what their their agenda is. I mean, a lot of us is dying by the millions. I mean, the world is collapsing down to the dollar, to the food, to the medicine, to everything. So are you prepared? We need to be getting prepared. We need to be talking about this on public platforms and everything. So y'all climb on in, climb on in. Jay, you left your phone in here, bro. Jay, yeah, let's give a round of applause to Jay. He's messing up my live right now. I guess he's looking for his phone and calling his phone. Jay, come get your phone, man. You interrupted my live, brother. <laughs> Jay up here going off, man. Y'all climb on in, climb on in. Peace, peace. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Shalom, shalom. Shalom, laka, mishpati, my family. Hotep, hotep. Namaste, namaste. Assalamu alaikum. Peace, God. Y'all climb in, climb in. Yes. So a lot of people, you know, I've been on lives lately and a lot of people have been basically asking me, you know, uh, Yaki, where do I start? It's hard. If if all the foods are GMO, then what should we eat? If uh, every time you you bring out a food is something that I I didn't know that was unhealthy. I thought it was healthy. What do we eat? Uh, what do you eat in a day, Yaki? What did you eat yesterday? Could you give me, you know, a dynamic food list, which I provide all of these things on my website. I just don't think that y'all really be looking and researching my information enough. Uh, and then it's crazy to me because even though I'm always telling you what not to eat, even though I'm always telling you what's dangerous for you, I always tell you we are frugivores, frugivore by nature, eat fruits, eat vegetables, well, why, well, uh, high water content. So it's not like I'm out here not giving you the things to eat. I have a whole website, www.yakiawaken.com. On there, we have a whole education tab. And if you click on the education tab, there's plenty of you know, uh, free information out there for you to tap into. We have the food combination chart showing you the foods that I eat on a daily basis. We have the geogenetic diet program that if you're going through a stringent uh, cleanse on what to eat. So all of that is out there. And then the reason why I talk about, you know, eating in self-defense so much is because look at what they're doing to our crops. Look at what they're doing to our food. Look at what they're doing to our water. Look at what they're doing to our, our air. We are at war and we don't realize that we're at war. Every level of playing field, which I speak to you about all the time, is, is here to kill us and to shorten our lives. We act like that we don't know that population uh, control is real and eugenics is real. It is real. That's the reason why the government is setting up all these different stages and, and we're performing on them. Notice how people have been declining. This is the only time in history, the only time in history, literally, where the children are dying off faster than the elders, y'all. It used to be reversed. It used to be backwards. Now our children are dying faster than us. How heartbreaking is that for, for me to be a father and have to witness all of my children die of so-called illnesses or illusions, illusions, which is what I call them, all, be, all because we're not eating uh, in preparation or in uh, self-defense. We're not drinking water in preparation or in self-defense. We're not educating our youngins in preparation or in self-defense. We're not clothing ourselves in preparation or in self-defense. We're not living or creating a, a sustainable environment. Because they're creating an environment for us. So, you know, you go outside the moment you open a door and you take a draw of breath, you're automatically breathing in benzene and, and, and breathing in pollutants from all of the cars and from all of the technology. So if I know as soon as I go outside, I'm going to be breathing in these type of pollutants and these type of benzene is going to hurt my lungs. And eventually I'm going to develop some type of cancer uh, along the line just by breathing air. Then that mean I need to be taking me a herb that's cleansing my lungs at, at least once a month. Or I need to be eating foods that I know that's going to lower my my uh, risk of lung cancer every day. I need to have that a part of my plate. That's what I mean about eating in self-defense. Or, you know, if you know that clothes and certain dyes in the clothes like azo dyes, you know, cause a skin cancer or lower your heart hurts of your body, then I don't need to mix my fabric. Every shirt that I'm going to buy is going to be 100 percent cotton or 100 percent linen or 100 percent 
uh, uh, hemp, you know, same thing with my draws because these things are on my reproductive organ. And since our children are dying faster than uh, since our children are dying more than us, then that means we need to be focused on reproducing and repopulating. And how can you reproduce and repopulate if all of our sisters have endometriosis, if all of our sisters have big old fibroids covering up their uterus or destroying their uterine wall or the uterine tissue or the endometrium lining of their cervix and they can't reproduce. Or a lot of y'all got history, uh, uh, hysectomies and fusectomies, mastectomies, all these different sectomies where they're taking out our precious organs to reproduce or all of us are running to these clinics you know and and, and getting abortions like if you look at the propaganda and what's going on amongst the communities y'all everything is to make us become self-extinct or self-annihilation is real amongst the people and i'm not even talking about police brutality i'm not even talking about us killing each other in our neighborhoods black on so-called black on black crime because we know what that was created and stems from so i even hate that word in itself uh, what the what about the prison systems like the black man and a black woman is dying y'all now let's even keep it real the whole earth is dying if you're not a part of the deep state or if you're not a part of these one percenters we are being targeted and we're being annihilated and we're being literally exterminated through our food through our clothes through our water through the air we breathe through going through through doctors i mean it's so many different malpractices going on last year alone over four million people four million people died from from medical malnutri- uh, uh, malpractices four million people and we're not even talking about the ones that they didn't catch or the ones that they didn't write down so it's time for us to start educating ourselves educating our children with the right education for we can advance ourselves as a people and as a civilization if not then we are going to become extinct as a people and the ones that are left over is going to be given over into transhumanism becoming cyborg half man and half robots and they're going to be made slaves to actually benefit the one percenters or the deep states or those who's left behind y'all think i'm lying just look this stuff up one world currency is real it is coming digital currency the digital bailout is real it's coming your dollar don't mean a damn thing and it's and it's really not going to mean a damn thing so you need to start you know learning financial literacy the way the health is going our health is deteriorating millions and millions of people are dropping dead of heart attacks from you you know what so we see that the agenda is playing out and rolling out what are you doing to combat that what are you doing to prep and plan for the survival of your people and what are you doing to detoxify your body from all of this bullshit that we actually subject ourselves to every single day because of the lack of knowledge that's all i'm saying if y'all ready to get this started typing some nines we got some very very interesting uh questions today we're going to go through them. We're going to put out some cadavers. Make sure y'all have y'all pens. Make sure you got your pads and make sure you write all of this stuff down. Uh, I did fix the phone. So at the end of this particular transmission, I will open up the phone lines and you can call in and you'll be able to ask whatever you want. So if you're ready for this transmission, you're ready for these questions and answers. This is some real good stuff. I actually had uh, a little second a day to actually go over a few of these questions. And this is some mind blowing stuff. And I think that it covers uh, a wide variety of questions that you all might have in the first place so type in some nines if you can hear me and if you can see me good make sure that you type in some sevens and we'll get this thing started all right let me light me some palo let me like let me light some palo and it'd be a lot of people in the comment board especially a lot of agents they hate what i got going on they hate that we out here healing the world of so-called irreversible diseases they hate that all of this new knowledge and information is going forth so do not pay attention to people in the com board comment board especially people that's teaching it's a lot of people be in the comment board trying to teach and don't know what the hell they're talking about if you are that great of a teacher create your own channel and start teaching on your own channel don't come on my channel teaching So this is for y'all. This is for the haters. All right, all praises, all praises. Okay, so the first question is this. It says, hello, Yaki. Thank you for reviewing my case. This year I was diagnosed with a very rare condition called lymphogeno, lymphangiomitosis. My lymphatic system does not function properly now y'all know i love the fat lymphatic system y'all know this is all i talk about matter of fact before we even get into these questions and start talking about cancer and everything but they won't take this transmission down let me put up this disclaimer real fast 
All right, and this disclaimer basically says these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product that I'm going to be recommending is not intended is not a, intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. For and on the record, family, for and on the record, I am not a doctor and I do not want to be a doctor. I am a certified master herbalist. I am a, a certified biochemist. I am a certified Reiki healer. I am a certified crystal healer. I have two open functioning fully clinics uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. We have thousands and thousands of healing testimonies from all of these so-called irreversible diseases. You can Google me. You can look me up. All of the work is real and all of my diagnos diagnostic sheets proven that me and my team have healed these diseases or in, in, in fact real y'all so that's who i am that's what i do i've been doing this for over a decade now my name is yakai Raphael, but all of my friends and peers and followers call me yaki awakened so that's the disclaimer y'all that's the disclaimer so check this out it says thank you for reviewing my case this year i was diagnosed with a very rare condition called lymphangenomitosis my lymphatic system does not function properly i have an enlarged lymphatic vessels and i grow extra lymphatic vessels this extra vessels do not function properly and cause problems. It is a it is. Hold on. It have growing tumors throughout my chest and abdomen. So we already know whenever you hear lymph, lymph literally means the lymphatic system or what they call the so-called the immunological system. Then we have angio. Angio means the beginning or to grow. And then you have mitosis or matosis. And matosis means the cellular division thereof. So when we look at lymph, lymphatic system, angio, the beginning of growing, and then mitosin, mitosis, the cellular division. So we see that cells are dividing and growing tumors inside the lymphatic system. All right, so now the whole thing you have to ask yourself is what makes these malignant cells? What grows and in, in and creates a a uh, environment that have cells con uh, uncontrollably dividing. This is what they call cancer. So I'm guessing reading through this, she finna call this cancer. Let's see. It says the the extra vessels do not function properly and causes problems. It have it have grown tumors throughout my chest and abdomen, and I overproduce lymphatic fluid. So this is letting you know right now, and if she's overproducing lymphatic fluid, that means her body is super acidic. That's the only time you're really gonna see a overproduction of lymphatic uh, fluid, y'all. Write this down, family. There is no difference between lymphatic fluid mucus and cholesterol they're all the same exact thing and that's how you know that mucus is not a killer or the cause of disease it's a defense mechanism that's how you know that cholesterol is not actually bad it's a defense mechanism in fact without cholesterol you would not have any sexual hormones and in fact then without cholesterol you would not be able to convert tyrosine into vitamin d by way of the sun so we need cholesterol to build pregnenolone progesterone estrogen testosterone and all of these other different uh fertile hormones for you to be able to reproduce and repopulate so we have to change the narrative and the way that we look at so-called disease so we see her lymphatic system is being becoming very edemic very aquatic she's uh, retaining a lot of water and she's building up a lot of fluids so what builds up the mucosa membrane or what stimulates the muc mucosa membrane or what we will call the interstitium fluid of the body acids so i can tell you right now that her body is being deprived of oxygen her cells are being deprived of oxygen and this is bringing on what you would call a mucosa stimuli or lymphatic fluid and that's what's building up and then you got to go back into embryology and you have to see when uh, uh, embryology is is growing into a fetus inside of the woman's womb the first thing that's growing inside of there you have what you have the primitive uh gut tube you have the nervous system, which creates the brain and the beating heart. And then you have something called the lymphatic sac. Uh, once you get to like the second week, you'll start seeing the pituitary uh, grow. And then once the pituitary grow, this is your growth stimulating hormone. The pituitary gland is what makes you short. It's what makes you tall. It what grows your bones and what's not. It's over the reproductive organs of male and female. And guess what it grows? It grows your connective tissue along with the parathyroid gland due to calcium monotriphosphate. So we see that something is wrong with the pituitary gland off back something's wrong with the pituitary gland and the pituitary gland actually levels out your water ratio so if she's actually super edemic and she's accumulating a whole lot of this lymph fluid or what we're going to call interstitial fluid we see that she have an overstimulated pituitary gland now i talked in an interview yesterday i did with uh, isis wisdom about the pituitary gland and what the pituitary gland need to actually regulate itself the pituitary gland needs something called anthocyanins and anthos anthocyanins 
actually come from that dark melanin pigmentation of your berries and of your grapes and your cherries. So you should be on a lot of berries. Plus the berries are antioxidants. And not only is they antioxidants, they're oxygenators, meaning they bring a lot of oxygen to the actual brain for you can receive melanin neurotransmitters, for you can receive all the phytochemicals and phytonutrients you need to feed the pituitary gland because the pituitary gland actually pres uh, help produce zinc and copper and gold. And you need this for your electrical system. And this is what helps you keep all of the, the edema or the water or liquids, H3O2 inside of your body in a good ratio. So we automatically need to go after the pituitary gland. Now, since the lymphatic system is backing up and pushing a lot of fluids within two of the cells of the body, she's drowning her cells and suffocating her cells with mucus or what you call interstitial fluid. And this is what mucus do. Mucus have a way with, you know, even though it's a, a, a defense mechanism, it have a way of, of, of doing its job too well. So it will cover up the cells and then it will suffocate the cells. And, you know, cells starts to corrode with inside of the body and then it will go through its uh, oxidation stage. And then this is where you get corrosion or cellular rust from. And now the cell is starting to break apart and all the integrity of the cells is starting to die off. And they call this cellular apoptosis or what you would call signaling cellular death. So we need to figure out how to get our lymphatic system moving off back because her whole dis, dis ease, so called dis ease, is called lymph angenomatosis, right? It says, I overproduce lymph fluid. All of the fluid does not exit my body. It sits throughout my chest, my abs, and my pelvis. I'm glad you just said your pelvis. Your pelvis is where actually your kidneys and everything else is located, meaning that your kidneys and your adrenals is not functioning properly. The adrenals sits on top of the kidneys, and what the adrenals do, it, it, it produces something called acetylcholinesterase. This is an enzyme that backs up acetylcholine and acetylcholine actually open up the kidneys to filtrate all the metabolic waste and fluids that the body doesn't need to retain out of the body. So if you're gaining fluid, that means that your capillaries are damaged because of acids because the only thing that damages cells in the body is acid, family. That's the only thing that damages cell. And then you have something called base chemistry or alkaline chemistry and this is what breathes life to the cell. This is when you actually get controlled mitosis, controlled apoptosis, controlled cellular division, Vision, controlled angio uh, mitosis where we're, we're signaling the cells to grow and reproduce or it's telling the cell to kill itself and to die off because it's being becoming malignant and stuff like that so we have to get this back in check but the only thing that damage anything in chemistry is acids nitrates acids that's where you get nitrogen from you see what I'm saying? Sulfuric acid, phosphor, uh, uh, phosphorus acid these are the things that burns you lactic acid Uric acid, carbonic acid, all of these different acids that's going on. It's acids in the air. It's acids in our food. And like I tell you all the time, just you eating a regular diet, you're going to produce acid because whenever you utilize or use energy throughout your day, whether you're eating, walking, talking, dancing, laughing, the body have to use ATP by the mitochondria organelles inside of your cells. And there's a byproduct that come from it. Just like your car produces carbon dioxide when you drive it after you put the fuel or the food into the car once you push that gas you're utilizing energy there's a byproduct or a trash that come from you utilizing free energy that's the thing free energy ain't free family it ain't never been free i don't even know who put that damn word in front of energy there's no such thing as free energy when you utilize energy acids come and be about it's called an ash or alkaline residue this residue is hot based off the minerals that's why they call it alkaline or acids so we see that she is not removing none of the acids that she's building up inside of the system because her interstitial fluid is backed up and the reason why she's backed up is because her kidneys and her adrenals are down so not only do we got to go after the uh the the uh, pituitary gland we need to go after the kidneys and we need to go after the adrenals thus far right it says i also have restricted lungs due to uh uh per uh how you say that plural thickening around my lungs and surgery and scar tissue so i think she's saying polero and polero is basically a pocket between your lungs and your chest cavity it's a it's a it's a space there and usually when you're interstitially black backed up this polero get filled up with fluid and they have to go in and surgically drain that fluid out so we see that her her capillaries is not functioning properly and again what's in control of the interconnective tissue and the capillaries the thyroid so we have a pituitary issue 
Not only do we have a pituitary gland issue, we have a parathyroid issue. And not only do we have a parathyroid issue, we have a adrenal gland issue. So this sounding like the chakras of the endocrine system is not working properly. And the reason why it's not working properly because it's being chewed on by gnarly chemistry that we call acids. So the issue and the root cause to this problem is acidic chemistry. We have to remove and get the acids out of the body. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you how. OK, now it says earlier this year is when I was when I was conditioned, when this condition blossomed and my health went downhill, my platelets and hemoglobin were extremely low. Now, check this out. So whenever you look at cancer, because that's what this is, these are malignant tumors that's growing throughout the lymphatic system. All all bodies produce cancerous cells every single day. What happened is if your lymphatic system and the interstitial fluid of your body have opened up pathways because your NRF2 pathways is open, glutathione is kicking on when it's supposed to, you're eating the right foods, it's going to be astringent and pull these different toxins from the cells and your adrenal glands is online. The autonomic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system is actually working and exchanging melanin neurotransmitters throughout the body properly and your kidneys is opening up and your urethra pathway is open up and you can urinate off this metabolic waste then all these cancer cells get ate up by macrophages that go through something called phagot uh, phagotis uh, uh phagot uh, phagotosis or phagocytosis where you have these phagocyte cells or dendritic cells that go throughout the so-called immune system or the blood system the interstitial fluid of the body and then it gulps all these cancerous cells then it breaks them down and what it does is it travels along these lymph rivers and then it goes through something called a lymph noid inside of the lymph noids you have other macrophages and you have bacteria the bacteria is made to chew and break down the acids more these things go through a hundred million lymph noids and then it ends up at the kidneys and what happens is the adrenal gland kick the kidneys online and now you're able to urine out all of this metabolic waste due to uh, due to phagocytosis so now we see that phagotis, uh, uh, phagocytosis is a part of the actual lymphatic system but she's not utilizing it properly because all the acids is in her body overwhelming the so-called immunological system killing the t-cells killing the b-cells and all of this so you have something called aerobic aerobic means to use oxygen and this is a metabolic process that the mitochondria uh organelle inside of the cells have to go through to, to utilize atp but then you have another one literally called anaerobic and anaerobic is when it don't need oxygen it goes away of fermentation usually when you see the cells using fermentation instead of oxygen to actually reproduce new cells or to burn energy this when you start seeing the loss of hemoglobin because you need hemoglobin to extract oxygen and bring it throughout the bloodstream so we see that her body is literally suffocating and is and is deprived of oxygen and is deprived of air so i'm gonna tell you right now before i even recommend any type of foods which i already did which was the berries i I want to take that back we're going to put it back on but the first thing you need to be doing is you need to be practicing on diaphragmatic breathing you need to sit down elongate your spinal cord make sure it's balanced as possible and you need to breathe from your stomach and if you have problems doing these diaphragmatic breaths in that position you need to squat and do it that way you literally focusing on that actual abdo uh, the uh uh, actual focus on the actual mesentery muscle and the diaphragmatic muscle of your stomach. That way you can get them deep diaphragmatic breaths in. Now the, the breath frequency or sequence that I'm going to recommend is four seconds by four seconds by four seconds. So you're going to inhale through the nasal passage, not the mouth. Do not mouth breathe because when you mouth breathe, it brings in acids and you die quicker because you don't have a filtration system in your nasal passage. So always nose breathe. So breathing through the nose four seconds. Then you're going to hold it for four seconds. Four seconds by Mississippi one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. These are real uh, seconds. Then you're going to hold it for four seconds. Once you hold it for four seconds, you're going to release through the mouth for four seconds. You need to do this at least 20 minutes a day for you can bring more oxygen to the body for you can bring the hemoglobin. I mean, for, for hemoglobin can actually attract the oxygen and you can bring your cells to uh, aerobic process of breaking down cells and burning fuel and not fermentation because fermentation is actually what causes acidic cancer, which what we see you're going through right now because your hemoglobin is very low and you have low blood pla uh, pl uh, platelets. It says we're extremely low and I had to get blood transfusion. So that means she's lacking iron. All right. Now, you know, she's lacking iron. It means she's lacking oxygen uh, for two, three times a week. I, look, and I was on oxygen as well. So her blood count, count and her hemoglobin was so low because her body is going through an anaerobic process of burning energy due to fermentation and putrefaction that she didn't have any oxygen in her body where they had to actually put her on an oxygen machine for 
two to three times a week. I was bleeding in my GI tract. Of course she was, because you have to realize that 95 to 98 percent of your uh, what they would call your immunological system or what I'm going to call your lymphatic defense system is actually in the gut. So if your gut is messed up and your lymphatic system is messed up and you're suffering from a lymphatic so-called disease or illness or illusion, then, of course, something is going to be wrong with the gut tract. And you see that it's bleeding. Now, now we know that you're not absorbing anything because the gut is backed up. The interstitial fluid of the gut is backed up. So you need to cleanse your gut as well. But we have to worry about this bleeding. You need to. So you don't need to be on no grapes. If you're bleeding, that means you're very thin. If you're bleeding internally, that means your blood is thinning out and you have too much tannins inside of the blood uh blood now tannins actually act as a lectin y'all but we're gonna talk about that in a minute so you need to thicken up your blood so stay away from grapes and you have to stay away from most of your citric fruits to you know to be honest with you because these things do have tannins in them they will thin your blood out more and you don't need to be losing no blood because you don't have no hemoglobin it says the doctor said my stomach looked like a cobblestone due to the Due to the fluid buildup around it. So we see that her look, she got so much fluid building up because her lymphatic system is not working and her capillaries or what they, what they call the capillaries are so damaged by acids that the body is just maintaining the fluids, trying to put out the acids. And then they don't have no fontanelle or what you would call an alternative route of elimination to make it out of her body. So the main key focus we're going to be focusing on, y'all, is pituitary gland, parathyroid gland, the gut, of course, because that's where 95 percent of the lymphatic lymphatic defense system met and last but not least which is your most too important the kidneys and adrenals y'all so i need y'all to write that in the comment board the kidneys and adrenals is first that's what we need to focus on because we need to get all of this access of excessive water or fluid out of her body then we need to go out to that pituitary gland because the pituitary gland is actually what grows things it's a cellular proliferator uh organ a lot of people say the pituitary gland is a gland but it, it don't only secrete things it produces things so if it produces something not only does it produce but secrete something that that's when you call it an organ. So we have to go after the pituitary gland. Then we got to go after the parathyroid gland because that's in control of the connective tissue. And we see that she have very, very weak connective tissue going on here. And last but not least, we have to cleanse the gut because the gut is where most of her what is at? Her lymphatic defense system or what the allopathic community call the what? Immunological system. Yes, kidneys and adrenals. That's right. What are we doing next? After we hit the kidneys and adrenals, we need to hit what, family? The pituitary gland. Once we hit that pituitary gland, what we need to hit, family? Parathyroid. Once we hit that parathyroid, what we need to go after? The gut. We have to cleanse the gut. Let's keep reading because it's a lot here, y'all. It's a lot we're going through. So this is just case one, y'all. It says, I was at John Hopkins for a month back in, uh, hold on, I'm missing stuff. Okay, earlier this year is when the condition blossomed and my health went downhill. My platelets and hemoglobin were extremely low and I had to get a blood transfusion two to three times a week. I was on oxygen as well. I was bleeding in my gut GI tract. The doctor said my stomach looked like a cobblestone, cobblestone due to the fluid buildup around it. It should look like it was smooth. It's supposed to. My immune system, you know, we don't believe in the immune system. We believe in the lymphatic defense system was fighting me and I could not keep protein, magnesium and other nutrients in my body. So if your uh, so-called immunological system is fighting you, that's 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 the immune system in your stomach. This is the reason why you can't have magnum uh, intake or uptake or nutrients uptake is because your capillaries are actually damaged. And that's the only way that you can get things that's from outside of the body into the bloodstream. Stream is by way of the capillaries in the small intestinal tract or what they call the duodenum. So, you know, you have these microbes or the microbiota that breaks down the phytonutrients of the of the actual macro foods you eat. And then they they pick up these actual uh, micronutrients and biophotons and bioflavonoids through the actual duodenum, take them to the blood capil capillaries. And then these capillaries is the way the phytonutrients enter the body. And this is how I know that your capillaries are damaged because you're already you're, you're retaining too much fluid. It. When the fluid's supposed to be in the capillaries, whether we're talking about the lymphatic vessels capillaries or we're talking about the blood uh, vessel capillaries to actually do their job. But since it's filling up between your tissues, I know that the capillaries are damaged. Now you just said that you can't even uh, uptake uh, simple amino acids because you're not supposed to be eating protein anyway. Protein destroys our bodies. You need simple amino acids, not complex amino acids that they call protein. You're not uptaking no type of magnesium or any other nutrients, meaning that the capillaries inside of your gut GI tract 
track is is doomed. So we have to regenerate that. And the only way that you can bring on cellular regeneration is you have to create a path of elimination. You have to open up the kidneys and the adrenals. You have to clean out the colon and get that colon running. I'm trying to have you with cold like flu symptoms with the herbs. I'm trying to give you diarrhea at the mouth and the anus for you can poop all of this mucus and acids up out of it. I want to see acids and mucus coming from your eyes, your ears, your hair. I'm trying to bring on a full on detox with a case like this, but we got to be careful because her, her blood capillaries is down too. So we, you know, and I was telling y'all uh, what one of the doctor, uh, Dr. Morse was talking about that. I, I took on that teaching cause it's an amazing teaching where he was talking about, you know, uh, uh, basically digestion, uh, absorption, utilization, and elimination. And these are the four keys to the king. I call them the four keys of the kingdom. I totally renamed it and put new definitions to it, but you know, credit does go to him. And, and this is what we need. So her digestive system is totally messed up. So we're going to have to really get this together because if we don't heal her digestive tract, she's not going to be able to even absorb any of the phytonutrients right now because she's not absorbing magnesium proteins or nutrients. Then we, her adrenal glands is down. So she can't utilize it because what utilizes all the uh, amino acids and all the electrolytes in the body is the adrenal glands. And last but not least, she don't have a pathway of elimination because she's retaining all the water. So I would say this is a pretty serious case y'all so i'm gonna show you what to recommend and i'm gonna show you how to heal her y'all how we gonna heal her the all uh not the allopathic way but the naturopathy way the the holistic herbal way it says i was at john hawkins for a month in a in may and they were able to get things under control my blood levels were stable so you see she got hypertension too it says and now back normal due to the medication so they put her on hypertension medication now we see that even though she's retaining a lot of fluid this fluid is not being retained in the right way so imagine this this is how crazy the body is she is severely dehydrated but her body is full of fluids because that's how hypertension and high blood pressure is we're talking about the cardio output and we're talking about literally the systemic uh, 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 visceral retention, vascular retention. I mean, so we're actually talking about our blood pressure It's when the vessels literally starts to dehydrate and constrict and not dilate for blood can flow through properly. So that blood flow through the arteries or eteris super hard and presses against the arteries and it raises the blood pressure. Now, the crazy thing about the blood pressure and how, you know, she got hypertension. Guess what? Systolic is your top number of the blood pressure. That's your adrenals diastolic is the bottom number of your blood pressure that's the kidneys so we see that she have kidney and adrenal damage and that's what's really raising the blood pressure and she's severely hydrated even though she's accumulating a lot of uh, a lot of fluids inside of her body so this is going to be a tricky case but i'm glad we reading it because i'm gonna show you it don't matter how tricky it is we can heal it we just got to be smart we got to let nature do its thing. We just got to slow down and look at everything going on. And you got to literally hit it one by one. OK, I see the main problem is kidneys and adrenals. Let me work on that. Hold on. We see the lymphatic system is moving, but it's moving and it's dumping all the edema, all the all the liquids and fluids back into the tissues. What's what's what, what, what's creating the connective tissue to thyroid? Let me go after the parathyroid. Hold on. We know that water retention and fluid retention is based off the pituitary gland. Let me go after the pituitary gland. Dang, she's not absorbing no in order to regenerate her cells she's going to need phytochemicals and phytonutrients and biophotons and bioflavonoids these are the healing chemicals of the fruits and the vegetables and herbs damn let me clean out the gi tract and try to rebuild the blood capil capillaries inside the gi tract but able for me to do that i need to make sure she got the right amount of bacteria and gut microbiota inside the gut what do i need for gut microbiota okay yaki's three bitters yaki's three bitters gonna replace the gut microbiota inside the gut Okay, the geogenetic therapy is going to be a therapy that I'm going to recommend off of Yaki website because this is going to actually address all of these things simultaneously, open up the meridian pathways, open up the kidneys and the adrenals, getting the kidneys and the adrenals back online, turning on acetylcholine, turning on glutathione, turning on all these different bioflavonoids and these melanin neurotransmitters for her body can start creating a fontanelle, which is our alternative route of elimination. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. I know this is a pretty long case here, here, but let's get through it. Let's get through it. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. So right off back, I know that you're going to need my geogenetic uh, level three off my website. 
Not only are you going to need my Geogenetic Level 3 off my website, you're going to need two packs of the three bitters, especially Bitter 1 and Bitter 3. That's going to actually replace all the good bacteria that you need inside of your gut. And these bacteriums and these pleomorphic shaped shell, uh, cells of yours is going to help you rebuild the molecular structure and rebuild the blood capillaries inside of your uh, actual stomach. You have something literally called uh, 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 blood and and geo uh, morphs, morphosis, right? And blood and, ge and blood and geo morphosis is basically when the body finds a way to grow new blood vessels and new capillary capillary. So you can do it, but it can't do that in an acidic medium. Only thing that's going to be created in acidic medium is gnarly parasites that you really don't want to see. And these things come from the bacteria that already live inside of your body. Life can be sustained in any side of chemistry. Don't get it twisted. Just like if you go to so-called hell, you see devils and demons. If you go to so-called heaven, you see angels and God. Well, if you go to acid way, you're going to see some shit that you don't want to see because it don't even need oxygen to survive. I don't want nothing that don't need oxygen to survive in my body because that means they're parasitics. They need your... They suck all the life out of your body they suck out of all the power and the vitality out of your body i need something that's going to be in in, in a, a alkaline base chemistry these things are going to proliferate life see that so we have to stay away from the acid ash and start embracing the alkaline ash see a lot of people talk about heaven and hell no heaven and hell hell is being metabolic acidosis is hell your body burning from eating meats and eating dairies and eating complex protein is hell you having cancer and your cells lacking 66% of its oxygen is hell. You having legions on your brain, multiple sclerosis, arthritis, acids between the joints and the tissues of your body. That's hell. You bedridden and can't move because you're in so much pain. That's hell. That's the lake of fire. You in a balance of homeostasis and you bringing on alkaline chemistry and breeding life and new seasons and having mobility, having power, vitality and energy. That's heaven. So you in hell already. We already at the bottom of the bottle. You ain't got no choice but to go up. We at the end stage here. You ain't got no choice but to go up. What do you got to lose, sister? You ain't got nothing to lose, sister. We might as well get this cleanse. You might as well change your diet all the way. You might as well go completely alkaline and test. You might as well test out the herbs. Just, you don't have anything else to lose. Seriously, my sister. All right. It says uh, in September, my MRI results came back good and the tumors shrunk. So we see that the tumors start to shrink inside of her lymphatic system. Now, my question is, how did they get them tumors to shrink? Did they give you some type of chemotherapy? Did they give you some type of radiation? Did they give like what did they do to get the, the tumors to shrink? Because all of a sudden we see it's growing through all out the body. Then you with the John Hopkins and now they're shrinking. So what type of of uh, chemotherapy did they give you? Because that's a whole nother hell and beast and lake of fire on his own because not only is your burning cells but you're burning the good integrity cells too which causes cancer and a lot of people don't like to talk about that but if you look at the side effects of chemotherapy which is a derivative of mustard gas which is what they used in world war to actually kill people and then they administrating these things as drugs or chemotherapy pre uh, preventive maintenance treatments to to our communities how was that truly, truly helping me? Now, will it shrink cells? Hell yeah. But will it kill and shrink the other cells that don't need to be shrink? Yes, it will. And y'all can look this up, y'all. Y'all can look this up for y'all cells. And I will actually take this video down and put the article up here. That way they won't take the video down. That chemotherapy actually causes cancer. It brings on cancer. So we got, we got to talk about that. All right. This is deep, y'all. So we see that our tumor shrinked. It says the doctors lowered my dosage of steroids. Thank God for that. Cause steroids truly mess up the adrenal gland. See the thing about the gland in the body, the gland, your highway inside the body, the moment that you put synthetic chemistry a synthetic actual chemicals, uh, uh, uh in, inside of it, the body don't want to produce it no more. So if, if, if say for instance, you have a thyroid and they take your thyroid out or they take half of it out and then they give you a, a synthroid synthroid is a, basically it is a synthetic hormone. What the thyroid going to do, the thyroid going to be lazy as hell. It's going to be like, shit, I don't need to work no more. I'm already producing it without working. So the, what it happens is it can, 
completely goes to sleep. It goes dead on you and don't produce it at all. That's the same thing that, that steroids do to the adrenal glands. We have to understand that the adrenal glands is in control of the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. And these are things that runs on autopilot. So if your breathing runs on autopilot and you're, and you're actually been conditioned with something called asthma or COPD or things like that, that means you have an adrenal gland problem. So now if you give yourself an inhaler, which is nothing but synthetic steroid hormones to keep the actual dilation and constriction of your lungs and the vessels of your lungs completed, especially the areolas of your lungs functioning for you can breathe properly. That means the adrenal glands, once you get too many of the uh, steroids, it just stopped working. I'm like, I don't care no more. Then you become dependent on that steroid. That's why it's kind of crazy. That's why it's kind of scary now. And if you've been on inhalers for so long to wing yourself off of them, that's why people say go to the doctor because you can stop taking that inhaler and die of, of an asthma attack because once you stop taking an inhaler your adrenals ain't doing what they supposed to be doing because you've been taking the synthetic steroids and hormones your whole entire life see we have to and this is why we have to you know re-educate our children and re-educate everybody around us because if our children and the adults or the parents knew parents a pair of their rents people that's crazy but they if they knew this information we wouldn't put them on the stuff in the first place. We'd figure out natural, I hate the word natural alternatives because it sounds crazy because nature is not the alternative. Nature was here first. Herbs was here first. So I hate calling it an alternative. But, you know, we, we would choose the first one first, which is natural, the natural way of healing, other than going to the allopathic community and taking pharmaceutical drugs. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. We it says the doctor. Hold on. Look, check this out. I had another MRI and it showed up a small amount of growth in two areas. So the doctor increased my steroids and want me to stay on it for a couple of months, even though I'm stable. My body doesn't feel right these days. That's because they got you on things that you don't need to be on. If it was Yaki personally, I will wean myself up off of that deal flat out. And if the doctor won't let me wean myself off, I will find me a new doctor. That's what I would do if it was Yaki. The doctors increase my steroids and want me to stay on it for a couple of months, even though I am stable. My body does not feel right. I don't want to depend on medication. I don't want you to eat the system and I want to be healthy. I want you to be healthy, sister. Plus, the side effects from the meds were awful. One of the medications weakens my whole immune system. I had the flu and shingles over the past two months. So now we see not only do she got the flu, which shows you a compromised uh, so-called lymphatic system. That's the body trying to throw itself in a detoxification mechanism. That's all the flu is the body is trying its hardest to heal itself but they giving her all of these medicines and pharmaceutical and pharmaceuticals that's knocking her lymphatic system down and messing it up more so she, so her body is expectorating she's trying to get rid of all of the medicines and all of these different you know uh, chemistries and cytotoxins that they put in the body is trying to get out so what the body does the body is smart enough to throw itself in a cold and flu like symptom so that's why you coughing <laughs> to get these particles out. You sneezing, hut chew to get these particles out. You got snot running out of your nose because the maxillary cavities is now draining itself. You start getting psoriasis or or basically yeast and fermentation come from the skin. So now the skin is defecating and taking the poop. You're gonna start seeing dandruff and candida coming from the scalp scalp. Now now the head is taking the poop. You're gonna start seeing thrust on the tongue where the tongue turned white with all this yeast forming formation on the tongue because the tongue is now inspectorating, finding in a fontanelle or what we call alternative root of elimination the ears is going to start filling up with all types of wax and mucus boogers are going to start coming fingernails are going to start turning colors see that's the body natural way of detoxification that's the body natural way of healing itself you have been tricked in thinking that the body natural way of healing itself is an actual disease when it's not at all it's your body having a capability to heal itself because you are the mere reflection and image of god oh we y'all don't want to talk about that though <laughs> y'all don't want to talk about that it says, I do not want to depend on these medications. I want to be healthy. Plus, the side effects from the meds are awful on the medication on this. Uh, this one medication weakens my immune system. I have the flu and shingles and shingles is a sign of herpes. Shingles and uh, chicken pox are the same thing. This is a part of the herpes family. So you're dealing with a yeast ple pleomorphic worm called Foscolovskis busky. And you're dealing with the exosomes and the lysosomes of the cells actually being congested. I just did an amazing seminar in Detroit about that. Blew the roof off that place. It says, I recently became a vegetarian. So, hey, I'm going to give you a round of applause for that, sister. So, she became a vegetarian. So, all praises to that. But we need you to go a step farther. Because that means you're still eating dairy products. You need to get completely off the dairy products. Because guess what's going to stagnate that lymphatic system and shut them adrenals and them kidneys down before even meat? 
dairy products, lactic acid. You have to get away from the dairy. Dairy is the number one cause of cancer, too, when you really start digging into the research. And I could put up an article for that, too, by our own government. Everything I'm saying is backed by government issue articles and scholarly work, y'all, and clinical trials. I'm just not speaking out my ass, y'all. So you got to get off the dairy products ASAP. Especially going through these things you're going through, you realize dairy is basically the lymphatic system of a cow or the lymphatic system of whoever milk you choose to eat of that mammal species. You're sucking on their lymphatic system. And if you're sucking on their lymphatic system and you're sucking on their prolactin, that means you're sucking on that metabolic waste in their so-called proteins. That, that literally locks up and calcifies your body. Ooh wee. This is deep. And so she vegetarian. I'm working on becoming totally plant based eater. I, I'm so proud of you goddess. It says below or more detail or more details on uh, details on everything I'm going through with my body. I have attached photos as well. OK, so it's photos in here. Thank you. Kawhi. It says if you have any questions, please contact me. And then she give you a whole entire. Uh, she give you a whole entire actual. Diagnosis. Uh, timeline. Which is pretty, pretty long, but we don't need to read through it because we already know what's going on inside of the body. So this is what I would recommend. Uh, as I said before, and I like to keep repeating myself because that's a, a great way of learning and remembering if you keep repeating yourself. The first thing we have to do is we're going to have to check the actual gut. Uh, no, first thing will be the adrenals and the kidney. So, you know, if you don't have enough money to buy my package because the package you need is pretty up there. It's not too expensive. I mean, your insurance, you're going to get that with one visit. You know, you pay this one time with me and then you get healed up. But, you know, that's hearsay. So go after the adrenals. If you need to go after the adrenals, you can't go after the adrenals with licorice root because you have hypertension and you have high blood pressure. So the first thing I would do is I will ask, I will order the geogenetic therapy. And if you can't order the geogenetic therapy, make sure that you go to your local herb, uh, herb store and you get you some actual uh, wild yam root. And with this wild yam root, you're going to mix this with juniper berries and you're going to mix it with cinnamon bark. Uh, this is going to be a, a, a great, great cardiac kick to the adrenal glands to get the adrenal glands stimulated. If you didn't have high blood pressure and hypertension, I would tell you to do licorice root because licorice root is the adrenal glands favorite herb. I don't know that poison of that licorice root just kicks on and it vibrates at the same vibratory rate as the adrenal glands and it just get rid of all the mucus and the adrenals. I love the, the licorice herb and the adrenal gland relationship. They just have have a really good relationship into working uh, good with each other. But since you are in hypertension phases or stages, make sure that you get you some wild yam root. Mix it with some juniper berries. Make sure that you do this in all equal parts and some cinnamon bark. Uh, you're going to make a tea out of this. Make sure you drink eight ounces every three hours of this tea. And this will actually kick your adrenal glands back on. If not, and if you can't afford the package, what I would do is I would get the kidney and adrenal kit from off of my website. But you can make these things yourselves. Then we got to worry about the kidneys. The kidneys is good with parsley root. Uh, make sure that you get some cilantro in there to clean out any metal that's left over aluminum that's in the kidneys. Uh, cleaver's leaf is good for the kidneys as well. And then my favorite herb personally is plantain leaf. You mix these things up in equal parts as well. And then you can actually chop. It's better if you chop them up and put them in a, a 100% halal uh Vegan capsules and take them that way it can be released slowly. Well, dang, we can't do that because there's something going on with your digestive tract where you're not even absorbing. So don't do the capsule. You're going to have to do these in all teas and tinctures. So we got to custom make your protocol. So, you know, we need to talk because we got to custom make your protocol because your gut is messed up. So you can't take the capsules because as soon as the hydrochloric capsule uh, acid finally break up the capsules inside of your duodenum, it's going to it's going to further extract the bowels or become obstructive to the bowels because your blood capillaries are not even absorbing all of the phytonutrients you need. So we got to be smart and, and play a smart herbalist here. You're going to need actual tinctures. And the reason why I say you're going to need tinctures is because tincture is alcohol based. We use grape sugar alcohol and sometimes we use uh, organic sugar cane alcohol. And the thing is, with these herbs, we done broke down all of the uh, cellulose of the herbs to extract all the phytonutrients. So when you take these tincture extractions, it immediately hit the bloodstreams once you put it in your mouth by way of am amulase and by way of trypsin. So it'll reach your bloodstream in your mouth. 
right here at your salivary glances and it don't have to even make it to your stomach. So we have to custom make you a package uh, and the herbs is going to be involved. Of course, it's going to be something for the pituitary gland. It's going to be something for the thyroid and parathyroid because that's in control of the connective tissue. We're going to have to go after the gut, sweep the gut and try to repair the gut. So we're going to have to put you on some vegetable juices too as well. So this might, you might have to liquid fast your way up out of this, but we can't give you too much liquids because you're retaining too much water. So we have to put you on like 34 to 40 ounces of liquids a day. Uh, plus the herbs to stimulate the gut Stimulate the adrenal glands Get the kidneys open and functioning You need a whole lot of physical work done too So you need to be in a sauna At least 30 minutes a day For you can sweat some of this toxemia out For you can sweat some of this stuff up out of you You make sure you need to get you some compression socks To actually, you know, uh, uh, get a good ratio Of the edema that's going on throughout your legs And see if we can get it circulating To, to get it out of one of the extreme, uh, extremities We also need to get them kidneys open For you can urinate a lot of this edema out as well uh, not only that we have to go after the lymphatic system but I don't even want to go after the lymphatic system until we get all of the fluids up out of the body so you know pituitary pituitary go after the gut go after the gut go after the kidneys and the adrenals do it all through tinctures because you're not absorbing right because your digestion is messed up meaning you're not going to really be utilizing anything and again your your elimination pathway is blocked up so we got to create the elimination path, uh, pathway. So it'll be the geogenetic level three off of my website, but it'll be custom made in tinctures and tea form. And of course, we're going to do this with an all raw diet. Now, uh, I say go hard and go home on this one. Uh, usually I say don't cleanse too fast, but the path you going down, we're going to have to cleanse you fast. So before they, before your cancer starts appearing out through your whole body. So I say, you know, do it on an all fruit uh, diet and high in vegetable juices. So you're not going to juice the vegetables. You're going to you're going to act. I mean, you're not going to uh, juice the fruits. You're going to eat the fruits, but you're going to juice all the green vegetables just to get that chlorophyll and the chloroplast in you to open up more meridian pathways. If y'all got any questions so far for this particular case, uh, y'all can ask, ask them now. No, uh, no other questions for this case, y'all for this case. Any questions for this particular case? If not, we can move on to the next one. That is a stream. This is what you call a stream acidosis case, y'all. Extreme acidosis. Yes, that's what I recommend. The geogenetic level three off of my website. Uh, we got the custom maker package, though, all my healers. So now now my, my healers is listening to me. Now, you know, you can't do capsules with stuff like this because she have an absorption, a digest, uh, she have a digestion, absorption, utilization and elimination problem. So we're going to have to go the tongue way and have to reach the blood capillaries in her mouth before we able to even try to because we got to regenerate these blood capillaries in her stomach. Why not juice the fruit? Good question, to, uh, Tamika Holmes. How you doing, goddess? Shouts out to Mississippi. Uh, the reason why, because she's already going through a fermentation process and she's going to need fiber. Uh, she's going to need fiber to help rebuild things. So we can get that from the actual, we can get the fiber from the actual vegetables if she juice them. But with the fruits, if you juice the fruits, the fruits is going to become a high sugar content. And what we notice in the cells is it's going to go through faster fermentation because the fibers are missing from the fruits. So not only is she yielding high fructose, but if you juice them, you're going to, you're going to actually get rid of all the fibers. It's not going to be able to balance out the high fructose ratio. So this is going to bring on faster fermentation. And remember fermentation goes through something called an anaerobic process, which is nothing that's wrong with it. When your body is in the balance of homeostasis and half of it is anaerobic and the other half is aerobic. But since she's already lot, uh, lacking oxygen throughout the cells and out the body, she don't need no more fermentation because that's going to breed more cancerous cells and more cancerous bacteriums inside of her body is going to mutate and become a, a malignant so we need to stay away from high fructose at this particular point now fructose do heal the body do not get it twisted i believe we are frugivores but you know when you when you come into certain healing modalities and the body is instructed like that Fruits will cleanse the shit out of you super, super fast by going through this fermentation anaerobic process. And we don't want to do that. We want to yield as much oxygen as possible. And not only do we want to yield enough oxygen as possible, but we want to make sure that we firing off ATP and not ATP a days or, or this enzymic reaction is going to kick off ATP and then go the actual fermentation way because fermentation creates actual cancerous cells. Whether we want to talk about it or not, they do. 
So we wouldn't do that. So what we're going to do is use the vegetable, the glue. We're going to go the glucose route with this. That's go, that'll be the best way to go because you still get to keep a lot of the fibers. The fibers come with the prebiotics, the probiotics, and the postbiotics. And this is going to realign the gut tissues with the, uh, with the micro gut flora she needs. Plus, she's going to be on my three bitters. That's going to replace a lot of good bacteria because the bacteria is the builders of the body. The allopathic community thinks that the cells just build themselves when they don't. The bacteria help build the cells, y'all. Like, I don't think y'all know how important the microbiota and bacteria, the microbiome is to the body. And that's the reason why we have to get all these different germ theories and bacteria is attacking us and bacteria infections like we have to be careful with saying these things because we need bacteria our life depends on bacteria and fungus so the mycelium mushroom kingdom and network and in the bacteria network our body actually depends on it and believe it or not your body depends on yeast too it's the the problem is is when they be overpopulated in a in an extra overpopulated acidic environment is where they pleomorphize themselves into parasites and then start being uh given the body harm or being at harm to the body very very good question though very very good question let's see if we got any other questions on here i'm only answering questions due to this case so y'all asking everything else but y'all what y'all need to be asking and like these segments can go much faster if y'all just listen to me because now I got to read through all of the stuff that don't got nothing to do with the particular case. And it's going to put an extra 20 minutes on the live and when I can open up the phone lines at the end. But y'all won't be listening. Juices versus blending. Most definitely juicy. Now, when you blend it, you do. Now, hey, that's a good idea. I'm glad you just brought that up. All gravy. Uh, <laughs> it's a funny name, too. Uh, I'm glad you just brought that up, goddess. If you do blend it or you process it, you put it through like a food processor, you still get to keep some of that fruit, that fruit cellulose and some of that fruit fiber. Uh, that way it won't be so high in, in, in fructose and ferment too quickly in the belly. Uh, but I still suggest that you only juice the vegetables and eat the fruits organically whole. But that's a good idea. We have to do some clinical trials on that and uh, actually test it out. So good idea. Good idea. All right, family. On to the next one. On to the next one. I love you too, goddess. On to the next one. Okay, now this one says, hello, hope all is well. I was recommended to your website. Shout out to anybody that recommend you, recommended you to my website. God, this is a brother. How you feeling, God? Peace almighty. It says, uh, I was wondering if you could help me determine which of the products that I need off of your website. I've been diagnosed with HS. So I'm guessing you saying you have hydrantitis. Must be hydrant, uh, hydrantitis uh, super, uh, supertiva. And that's basically when you start accumulating all of these boils up under your armpits. Not only do you accu accumulate them up under your armpits, you accumulate them in your groin area and sometimes the lower part of your buttocks. So I'm guessing you saying that. And if you is, we dealing with another lymphatic problem. Because when you look at a lymphatic system and you look at all of the lymph noise that's associated with the lymphatic system, guess where they at, family? They're under the armpits. They're in the breast tissue or the ductal tissue of the breast. They're in the abdomen, what you call the goat, the gut associated lymphatic tissue, or you got payer patches or they literally in the groin area. And that's the reason why you see STDs, breast cancer, lung cancer, which is associated with the axillary lymph noise, or you have a lot of stomach issues or is actually cervical is in the neck and that head area where you see a large population or accumulation of lymph noids. And then you meet that shit with an acid diet. You're going to start seeing all kinds of diseases manifest themselves in them different places. STDs, cervical cancer, uh, polycysts, infertilization, sterilization, huh? boils under the armpits, huh? ductal cancer, breast cancer. Yes, all these different type of trichpo negative, uh, negative breast cancer, lung cancer, because the lungs is right behind the chest wall. Mesentery cancer, gut cancer, wherever you see a, a, a coagulated lymphatic associated tissues that that's usually what get compromised first because that's your first line of defense other than the mucosa membrane that lines the gut of your your body so we see that she have uh he have hydrantitis so hydrantitis is nothing but the developing of drainings of sinus tracts 
through the, either the, the growing area, the buttocks area, or the actual cervical area or axillary area, what we call the actual uh, armpits. And the reason why this is happening is because the body is super acidic and the body is great at determining whether it needs to detoxify itself or not. Your kidneys and your adrenals are down. Your gut and your colon is backed up. You are cellularly constipated. So the body say this. Am I going to keep the acids in my body to burn my cells and then I die of a stream metabolic acidosis? Or am I going to create a fontanelle a alternative pathway of elimination and get this stuff from up out of my body because it's burning me to hell? That's what it does. So the body be like, look, I'm going to take the actual lymph node way out. So it will pack itself. These acids will get ate up by the macrophage, phagotocize itself, go to the lymph nodes. And when it gets to the lymph nodes, if it's not moving properly, what will happen is it will create new sinus tracts itself. Y'all, this is how amazing your body is. And if we can look up the word if y'all think I'm playing. It will create new lymph node tracts and start draining through the skin and creating what boils there's a famous famous uh uh biochemist and healer named Arnold Eretz Arnold Eretz he created a book called the mucilage diet uh, uh list phenomenal book phenomenal book a lot of savvy information come from this book a phenomenal book I read the book probably two two to three times a month the mucus list diet uh list and it's by Arnold Eretz he actually was killed by the government but they said he slipped and fell on his head right crazy right he had an incidental ac accident and died but uh he said something very very dope to me in one of his books I don't know if it's in this book or another book but he said the body have the capability of, of, of healing itself if you put it in the right environmental uh, environmental conditions and he said cancer is a, a pretty sight to see because it shows you how mag majestic your body is and all cancer is is your body being accumulated with trash and instead of putting the trash inside of the kitchen or the bloodstream it creates a bag and put all the trash in the bag that's all a tumor is that's all a boil is that's all a cyst is that's all a polyps is it's the body building up associate uh, uh acidic associated trash and instead of it going into the bloodstream and killing you dead as a doorknob the body is smart enough to isolate the trash put it in a damn bag and then you go to the doctor they say you got a tumor all oh, snap you got a boil all oh, snap you got this and that but if you pop the tumor which i never suggest you do or if you pop the boil which sometimes we do to get a quick drainage we do pop oil sometimes uh notice what come out of it only 25 percent blood come from up out of it which is nutrients and then 75 percent of lymphatic interstitial fluid waste showing you it's filled up with lymphatic system uh, uh lymphatic fluids and tissues now again what goes into the lymphatic system uh uh, uh what goes into the lymphatic fluid Cancerous cells, malignant cells, toxemia, broken down cells, apoptosis, cellular mitosis, cellular meiosis, all the different uh, metals, all the things that's not supposed to stay in the body go to the lymphatic vessels, hit a lymph node and then drain through the kidneys. But if the kidneys and the adrenals ain't online, the body's smart enough to put that shit in a trash bag and hang it outside of the body. You call it a boy or a tumor, or a cyst or a pimple. That's crazy, right? Very smart for our bodies, though. So as so soon as you see things like that, I know that you interstitially backed up just like this beautiful goddess right here. So let's keep reading what you said, though. I was getting too excited, family. I know this. I'm so pat. I'm, I've never been passionate about nothing in my life like this, family. I mean, when it comes to healing, when it comes to disease and studying pathology, I know a lot of stuff get y'all gears grinding and get you going. No, this I can do this all. I don't need television. I don't need movies. I don't need I don't need, well, I do need sex. I'm going to say sex, but a man do need sex. I need, but like, I, I need this like I need sex. I need to study pathology, diseases, anatomy of the body, how our herbs work, herbology, getting into the body. I need to study this. I need this like I need breath, y'all. So if you get me, if you hear me getting excited and say a few cuss words here and there, you know what I'm saying? Don't hold it against me, family. Don't hold it against me. All right, it says, I was wondering if you could help me determine which of your products I need. I was diagnosed with HS, okay, hydronitis. It says, uh, meaning I get boils under my arms and around my gro groin constantly, and it is very painful. Why is it painful, family? Because it's full of acids. If you got acids sitting in a bucket of tissue and you just got it sitting there, and then this is how it busts open. A lot of people are like, well, it's draining. I don't know how it's breaking through the tissues. It's breaking through the tissues because it's sitting in a pocket of thin t uh, of thin tissues, of connective tissue. So if you're holding a, a, uh, a pocket of acids, 
Say if you just put some acids or some bleach inside of a paper bag, the moment you leave and come back 10 minutes later, all the bleach is going to be on the floor because all of the acids, even though bleach is alkaline, all of the acids from the bleach have chewed through the paper bag, have chewed through the plastic bag. The same thing that's happening with the boils and with the pimples and with tumors. They leak and they bust because it's full of damn gnarly chemistry that's going to chew through the connective tissue anyway. And that's why you got the drainage and notice the stuff smells to high heaven, showing you that you have corroded dead tissues and corroded dead cells inside of these pockets. And that's the reason why you have that stench or that smell coming from your groin area under your armpits or uh, at your lower buttocks. You get rid of dead cells. So, you know, I think, you know, hydratitis. Good job, body. See that? See, this is how they trick you. They call it a disease. I'm looking at that. And, and my see, that's why I'm writing this book I'm writing called Healing the Illusion. We call disease is, is going to blow. It's going to be the best book in this century. Hands down. Wait till I tell you. We, it's going to be out in September. I'm going to finish it up by September. But it's going to redefine and rewrite the narrative of this whole thing, y'all. I'm telling you. Because, like, y'all reading this and y'all probably thinking, damn, this is a bad situation. This is a bad thing. I'm looking at hydronitis. I'm like, damn, the body's smart as hell. It done created pockets, created a fontanelle because the kidneys and adrenals down, not processing all the toxemia out of the body. And instead, it takes it to the lymph nodes where it's supposed to be, grow new lymphatic vessels, then bust and drain itself up outside the skin. If, if ain't nothing more magnificent than that, I don't know what it is. It's better out than in. <laughs> Acids is better out than in, family. So I don't know. It's powerful to me. It's powerful to me. All right. It says uh, boils under my arms and growing constantly. Um, it's very painful. I told you it's painful because the acids I've been dealing with it for about 15 years now. Ooh, that's a long time, brother. We're going to get you healed up, though. The doctors want to put me on a drug called Humora. Hey, I heard about that, but I'm skeptical because of the side effects it has. I'm glad you looked this up for yourself. The humor been putting people to sleep and people ain't been waking up, brother. So I'm glad you, you noticed that. It says, if you have anything natural that, can, that, that you feel that can help my situation, of course I do. I would greatly appreciate it. I feel as though I have ran out of options, peace and love. All right, so the first thing we need to do, the body is already draining itself. I'm not going to mess with that process. So I'm going to oh, I'm going to open it up more. You're going to have some 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 a lot of scar tissue when we left over. But, you know, we can have Kawhi make you a salve uh, that you can rub on that once your once your scars close up on these areas and it'll get rid of the scar tissue. But I'm not going to try to stop it from draining. I'm going to make it drain more. So with this particular product, I mean, uh, uh, situation, I'm going to put you on an all fruit diet. I want to astringe the hell out of your body. I'm going to put you on all fruits, astringent fruits, citric fruits at that. You know what I'm saying? We talking about high end organic seeded grapes. If you can't find organic seeded grapes get you some grapefruit get you some key limes get you some cherries get you some green apples and we gonna go in we're gonna go in now we're gonna we're gonna put in some sweet fruits here and there because you can get a little burning sensation on your tongue and you already super acidic but the good thing is you already building up boils and it's already draining through your body so while we cleaning up your gut simultaneously we're gonna keep these things draining eating any even more so you might want to get you some male pampas i'm no i know i'm not trying to be funny you might want to get you some male pampas and you might want to get you some packages to put uh, some packages or some type of soothing soft uh cotton to put under your armpits because the moment we put you on these herbs and the moment we put you on this all fruit diet and we start cleansing you're gonna be really draining but you're gonna start seeing you feeling a whole lot better and the smell is going to go away so i think you need the geogenetic uh therapeutic package level one you really don't need to do it that long because you already have a fontanelle, which means your body created a elimination pathway and you draining a lot already. Uh, we're going and with inside of the geogenetic level one is going to be the kidney and adrenal kit, of course, because we got to uh, uh, attack the kidneys. Well, I don't want to say attack. That's allopathic thinking. They want to attack and the fight against cancer. The fight against multiple sclerosis, the fight against bacteria. The war on can the war on AIDS. They go to war with every damn thing. I don't want to be in that mindset, especially when I didn't found out that, you know, it's not really a war, it's the body way trying to heal itself. So, you know, we're gonna help the kidneys and the adrenals and we're gonna assist it with its elimination pathway. That's how I'm gonna say that. Sound better. Uh so you know, it's gonna come with the kidney and adrenal kit. It's also gonna come with the GI sweepers, it's gonna come with the three bitters. That's gonna actually get rid of all of the stuff that's in your gut. You're gonna be pooping, diarrhea everywhere. This is a good thing, process of elimination. Uh we're gonna clean up the blood as well. And we gotta go after your spleen too. It seemed like you got a spleen problem going on because I'm wondering why it, you know, because usually we find it in the uh 
in the cervical area or the axillary area, which is under the armpits. But we see we also we also see it in the goat area, too, uh, which is the gut associated lymphatic tissues so we gonna have to cleanse that spleen out the spleen is actually a lymphatic associated organ y'all that's where the blood meets the lymphatic system it duck dumps all this toxemia off into the lymphatic system by way of the spleen so we're gonna you know get the spleen together we're gonna give you things for the blood like burdock root yellow dock root uh blood root poke root things like that you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a very very uh good powerful package so you know the geogenetic level one off of the website, uh, all fruit diet, high in citric fruits. You know, these are what you would call your acid base fruits because they start off acids, but they turn into alkaline once they get into the body, then they become alkaline forming. That's what you're going to need. And I do, I do recommend that you leave these open for draining. Don't let them pack them with gauze or none of that. Unless they see a sign of affection, that just means more acid in their place, but let them drain, drain them, drain them, drain them. You see what I'm saying? Also get into that sauna for you can sweat. Uh, you're going to need lymphatic, uh, Deep tissue massages too And make sure Since you already got these fine nails Make sure that when they massage you They massage you Towards these openings For you can actually drain more Do some skin brushing as well I recommend you do some skin brushing Brush towards these Brush towards the, the boils For you can drain more See my thing is If it's already right there draining Let's not go through 100 miles of lymphatic vessels To try to get it dra to drain in another place We can work on that simultaneously But since you already got the trash can outside the body We gonna use them deals to drain the body And this is what you call smart herbology This is what you call a smart healer you know, why Why would I try to, you know, even though we're going to turn the kidneys and the adrenals on, why would that be my main focus if my boy is already draining in these areas? We're just going to utilize these areas and then we're going to clean up that scar tissue when we're done, brother. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. So, yep. All right, y'all. I, de I gave y'all that broccoli video and I did it commercial free. So I need a round of applause for that. I didn't I didn't try to sell you no herbs or none of that. I did the whole broccoli video commercial free for free. I usually charge for my lectures and everything. I did it for free. So I'm doing some commercials on this segment, y'all. So uh, check out my commercials real quick. I do them myself. <laughs> so let's pull them up real fast. Just a quick look. You know, just a quick little one. Ain't nothing wrong with it. All right, if anybody need any healing herbs, y'all, any healing herbs whatsoever, make sure that you go to www.yakiawaken.com. We do have a new uh, website coming out, hopefully on the 25th. It should be ready. We've been at it for like a whole year and a half, y'all. But the site is so extensive. It got a school built into the site. It have a, 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 a herbal so-called doctor's portal uh, uh, in, embedded in the site. Yaki TV is in the site. Our apps is ready. It's a phone app, an Android app. It's an a, a Apple app. App. But if you need any healing modalities or if you need any education on healing the body, mind and soul, make sure you go to www.yakiawaken.com. You can go here and hit on geogenetics. That's our geogenetic tabs. They'll pop up. Or you can hit on this education tab, Eat to Live page. This is where I have a lot of information about Eat to Live, the instruction page, uh, 12 body systems. Just teach you about your 12 body systems. These are my approved herb lists. This is a list of resources. Or whether you need to get water filters for your house, whether you need to get anything for your healing treatment or journey, you can go to this and we have document downloads where there's free downloads herbal store consists of a whole lot of things capsules tinctures powders tea seaweed kits and uh, bundles tonics oils hygiene soaps whole herbs and it all then you know you can go to our detoxification home and hit on our clients portal all of this is going to be new and approved on the website so if you need any herbs or you need any healing modalities or you just need to learn about healing your body truthful healing your body not you know what everybody else doing today it's just a free thinking healing that have no filter and it's going to tell you the truth regardless go to www.yakiawaken.com how that sound y'all did i did i kill that or what did i live that that commercial did i do it y'all let's get back to it yeah see that's the beautiful thing when you run your own shit you can make your own commercials <laughs> you can i don't gotta pay i ain't have to pay nobody to do that that was all me i ain't have to pay no other company i'm gonna do my own commercial and i'm gonna Support and promote my own healing. <laughs> All praises, family. So that's what you're going to need. If y'all got that so far, type in some nines, and we're going to go to another question, y'all. We knocking them out. We knocking them down. Two down and a couple more to go, and I'm going to open up the phone lines for y'all, family. Y'all can ask whatever you want. That's how you know when true healing and God is moving through somebody. You can ask anything. 
If I don't know, I'm gonna humbly say I don't know. But usually, if it comes to pathological entities and dealing with anatomy and physiology of the body, I usually I, I pretty much got it a hundred percent on lock, family. But I don't claim to be a know it all. See, this is my lane. I'm not trying to teach financial literacy real deep. You know what I'm saying? I'm not to make my millions, but you know, that's that's off my gift. It's off my gift. So I'm not, you're not finna see me holding courses just strictly on fine. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert at that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to teach me. You ain't going to have me teach you extra on, on combat training. No, my boys, I'm not an expert at that. You see that? You ain't going to, you ain't going to never hear me teaching about being an expert on working out or bodybuilding. I'm not an expert at that. I'm an expert at healing diseases, hands down. That's me. This my job, my duty, my purpose, my passion. I eat, live, shit, breathe this right here. Straight up. You come, you have came to the best place for healing this ease and bringing your body back into a balance of homeostasis. And I put my life on that. That's what that's right, brother. Stick to what you know. Fact. And this is what I know. This in metaphysics and spirituality is my niche. I ain't claim to be a, a expert at nothing other but this. And I can sing and do some real. And I can wrap my ass off too, family. I'm going to play some of my music soon. All right, family. Now, check this out. This says, hello. I've been dealing with itchy scalp. Uh-oh. We got itchy scalp. Thinning hair. Splitting in. So we see that we got an itchy scalp, dry scalp. Usually when you see dry scalp, that means that it's lacking hydration. Now we got thinning hair. Why is the hair thinning? We have to check the thyroid because the thyroid will thin your hair out or you actually losing a vital amine H. See, they call it vitamins, but it's really called vital amines. And these amines is what to make amino acids or they call them vital minerals. This is where you get the word vitamin from. So we know that he's missing amino acids and minerals in the vital amine H because he have thinning hair and splitting ends. We got to check the thyroid, y'all. And it says, I believe because I have relaxed my hair back in 2014. Uh, if y'all don't know these relaxers, they're there's cases popping off right now, y'all, where people are being sued. These big old companies are being sued because a lot of women uh, have had reproductive issues since they had relaxed their hair. And a lot of them had, uh, can't grow their hair back and then develop alopecia and, and, and damaged scar tissues on their hair follicles and can't grow their hair because of these relaxers. So it says, and it's, let me read that again. I've been dealing with itchy scalp, thinning hair, split ends because... I believe because I have relaxed my hair in 2014. Biggest mistake ever. I noticed the same texture on my beard. Okay, brother, I see you, brother. Moving forward, I want to grow out my hair and it be thick again. What herbs do you recommend? Uh, we do have some hair oil. It's called uh, it's called Miracle Hair Oil on our site. Uh, it got botana in it. It got rosemary in it. It got castor oil in it. We got all types of stuff in there. It got vitamin E in there. It do have biotin, vitamin H in there. So that'll really grow your hair good. But, I mean, you can get my ingredients, and I'll give them to you now. You just go buy them and make it yourself. Go get you some botana oil, organic. Get you some organic castor oil. Get you some rosemary oil. Mix it with some mint oil because the mint oil do stimulate hair growth and open up. Up the actual hair follicles for the nutrients can absorb inside of there. Uh, find you some organic biotin that comes from fruits and vegetables and get you some organic uh, vitamin H. And that usually come from your apples. So get some apple juice, uh, apple oil. I mean, and you can make your own apple oil. And I can show you how to do that. Mix them all together. That is a hair growing serum y'all it will grow your hair grow your hair grow your hair but you have to look at you know what's happening with these perms quit relaxing your hair they have uh for formaldehyde in it they have parabenes in them they have phthalates in them and they have dehp inside of them and these are all chemicals that actually softens and we, they use these chemicals to dissolve plastic and metals y'all they dissolve plastic and metals with these chemicals that I just mentioned. And they putting this same stuff inside of your relaxers and inside of your stuff that curls your hair and make your hair curl up. And that's the reason why. And it, 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 it destroys. It seeps into the blood and brain barrier, your uh, blood and brain, mucosa brain barrier of your brain. And it attacks the parathyroid and it protects the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus gland. So we see a lot of people are developing cancers from actually using these relaxers or they're going bald head or it's messing with their reproductive organs because it totally jacked up their uh, pituitary glands. And that's why you see a lot of people with uh, hysterectomies, mastectomies and stuff like that based off of this. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull an article real quick. Check this out, y'all. Just in case y'all don't think I just be making up stuff because I know I just be, boy, I know I be coming with it. Watch this, family. Boom. Check that out, family. What they say? Hair, re hair relaxers linked to what, family? Cancer. Dark and lovely. Huh? Yeah, everybody thought this was a good one. Olive oil. Everybody thought that was a good one, huh? 
How many of y'all use that? Uh, Diffy breakage. How many people use these ones? These things are straight linked to cancer in black women and men, and they are being sued. They suing the draws off these people. Suing the draws off these people for these things. So, you know, we just got to be careful of, uh, of what we doing and how we doing these things. Check this out. Cancer risks after using a relaxer or using it frequently. Look, increase the risk of uterine cancer by 156% family. 156%. Increase the risk in breast cancer by 30%. Ooh, we, we got to get away from these dyes. We got to get away from these relaxers. You have something called non ether hair, non ether cold hair, nappy hair that grows towards the sun. That is beautiful. Embrace your beauty. Embrace your uniqueness. Nobody else grow hairs like you. You should be clapping and jumping around with your beautiful hair. You know, your hair is an extension of your nervous system. That's how you scan your environment through the Merkel's disc of the hair follicles deep within the epidermis of your skin layers. And it brings you back signals, signals for you can know how to interact with your environment. So you damaging your hair already now for damaging your hair, going through this inferiority complex that you have, which is the reason why you damaging your hair in the first place. Now you paying for it with cancer. Or split ends or thinning hair, or itchy scalp or dry scalp or messed up eyes or messed up reproductive organs because you want to perm your hair to look like other people. No, we don't do that. All right. So for this, uh, I recommend, I mean, for real, you're going to you're going to have to cleanse the body, of course, cleanse the skin. Uh, and the best way to cleanse the skin, family, all of my future healers is want to learn how to cleanse the skin. Always cleanse the liver. If you want to cleanse the skin, cleanse the liver, your liver herbs and your skin herbs are the same exact herbs. We're talking about burdock root, burdock leaf, dandelion root, dandelion leaf, the uh, uh, yellow dock root, yellow dock leaf. Be careful on the yellow dock leaf because it's poisonous as hell. All these herbs are poisonous. That's how you get the plunging, uh, purging effect from them anyway. But some of them just more poison, poison than the other, like poke root. Poke root will kill your ass dead as a doughnut, family. So be careful with that and black root. I mean, blood root, blood root and black root. So, you know, get on the barbs family, which is the burdock, the yellow dock and the dandelion that will cleanse the liver and the skin. And uh, also your uh, milk thistle. Milk thistle is very, very good for cleansing the liver and the skin as well. Uh, we also sell a skin salve and then you can get my hair oil. But if you don't want to get my hair oil, make sure that you get the, the castor oil, the batana oil, the rosemary with a hint of mint. Make sure you mix it with some biotin and mix it with some vitamin, uh, vitamin means H that will help stimulate and grow the hair follicles. Uh, another thing is they have these little prickly things that you can move across your hair to create new pathways and to stimulate circulation and blood and oxygen for you can start growing uh hair again there now you are going to have to do a deep nervous system cleanse because the the hair is an extension of your nervous system and if it damaged the hair follicles then it most definitely damaged the nervous system so you need to get my nervous system cleanse off the website it's only three hundred dollars it's like 21 day cleanse you take it it will cleanse the nervous system and we have seen people grow hair off of that alone but usually when we heal in alopecia and stuff like that we do the geogenetic level one with what i just recommended for you but i think in a situation like this we should start off small just start off with the uh, nervous system cleanse make sure that you're on a high fruit diet make sure this diet is 80 percent fruit 20 percent vegetables try to go all raw if you can't make sure that you're not frying your food you you know you can steam them and put them in ovens and stuff like that but please don't fry your food because the grease is going to help coat that visceral fat and that's going to mess up your hair again so you know stay away from things like that 80 20 all raw 80 percent fruits 20 percent vegetables and uh make sure you're not using any chemicals change your deodorant if you're using deodorant throw it away use key limes if you need soap you can buy some sea moss soap from off my website if you need oil to put on your body go through your grocery store and get you some uh grapeseed oil or you can get you some organic olive oil uh, it seemed like you got itchy dry skin so the olive oil might dry you out or dehydrate you a little bit more so get you some grapeseed oil uh make sure it's virgin make sure it's 100 percent, and make sure that it's actually herbicides and pesticides free and that's what you need that's what you need to get you right and make sure that you washing your hair in the beginning at least once a week uh we as so-called uh african people i'm gonna call or black people i'm gonna call us you know aboriginal americans we as a uh, melanated aboriginal american people only supposed to wash our hair once every month to be honest with you because we need these oils and we need the pheromones to keep us connected with our environment especially people with locks like me you know i wash mine once a month people that you know get their hair done a lot they probably need to wash theirs you know once every two weeks but we can't be washing our hair a lot 
because you wash out all the oils that you need that's essential for your body and protect your nervous system. But in your case, I'm going to need you to wash once a week just to stimulate, get all of that dirt off the follicles to keep them pathways open where you can start stimulating hair growth again. That's what I recommend. If y'all got any questions so far for this particular case, y'all can type, uh, I mean, y'all can ask them. If y'all don't, just type some nines and we keep it pushing. If y'all don't, keep it pushing. Yes, Batana Oil, family. Batana Oil. Make sure y'all put some mint oil in there because the mint does something to the follicles. It just stimulated real, real good. Do neem oil work? Neem oil do work on hair growth, but neem, neem oil is more for skin and the eternal organs. But you can add neem oil, but why would you? Neem oil stink like hell, Blurpro Alexander. Neem oil stank to high heaven. I wouldn't want to be walking around with that stuff on my skin or my hair, goddess. Me personally, because it stank, but it does work. It does work, and it tastes horrible, but I love it. How do I feel about hair transplant? Uh, that can cause severe infection. So I try to I try to keep people away from that, especially if you can naturally regrow your hair by itself. You know what I'm saying? I used to have patches all throughout my hair. I grew my hair back. So, you know, you can do it. You can most definitely do it, family. All right, we're going to move on to the next one, family. And then after that, because we got so many to go, I think I'm going to do one more. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to do one more and then uh, we'll move on. How about that, y'all? I'll do one more and we'll move on. Okay, so here it goes. It says, good afternoon. I'm messaging you because I feel like I'm getting, hold on, y'all. I can have some herbal tea, y'all, and I never got it, y'all. Hey, Jay, you want some of this herbal tea? I forgot all about it. I call this tea surrender. I ain't put it on the market yet, but this tea is, man, it's fire. It is fire. I'm going to put it on the market in a minute. I've been testing it on myself and on my family. But this tea is amazing. Some of the best herbs in the world in here. La Chaim. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. All right. All right, so it says, good afternoon. I'm messaging you because I feel like I keep getting drawing to you for a reason. <laughs> Thank you. That means I got good electrical magnetic energy. Uh, goddess you a goddess uh it says for some reason and in 20 in 2020 after i had a baby i received the epidural Ah, oh, snaps where this is going my legs went numb and i haven't been the same since yeah they pumped you full of steroids and that anesthesia anesthesia and steroids will do it it will do it so we got to cleanse that brain automatically when you hear epidural and they, they introduce it into your highway, your melanin neural highway, which is your spinal column that goes straight from your brain into all the other extremities and synapses throughout the body. We know we got to cleanse the central nervous system, the enteric nervous system and the autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system off back. And we have to be crazy. We have to be very careful with the anesthesia because what happens is with the anesthesia, they give it to you. It actually weakens your adrenal functioning. And, and and that's why we tell people that, you know, adrenal glands, that top number, what you call that systolic number. If it if it's below one five, one oh five, don't let them people put that in you. You will go to sleep and not wake up. They relax you too much and you will be on a, in another dimension. You done transition and, and back in a reincarnated body and don't know what the hell happened to you. And that's the reason why a lot of people go into surgery and don't come out. A lot of people that think that the surgery w went wrong and it don't be the, the surgery that goes wrong. It be the actual medicine or, or the anesthesia that they give you uh, to put you to sleep or to lessen the pain. And you never wake up because you already was suffering with adrenal fatigue or metabolic acidosis in the adrenal area. Yeah, people, people don't want to talk about that. All right, it says her legs went numb afterwards. She haven't been the same since. In January 2021, she went to the hospital because she was because she was falling a lot. OK, so now we see she falling and numbness in the legs. It says in uh, her balance and mobility began to decline. It says she had a multiple MRI CAT scans. Oh, man, I wonder how many uh, reds that they give you of radiation and EMF frequency. It says I had multiple MRIs, CAT scans, and even hot and even a lumbar puncture to check my neuro neurological issues. They found a small lesion on the brain. So we see a lesion on the brain. Look, 
this is this shows you how doing certain things like that causes multiple sclerosis. I've been arguing with these six Mexican doctors and two European doctors for the last two years about this on how uh, anesthesia and certain other, you know, different types of meds actually burns the brain and burns the spinal cord inducing you into something called multiple sclerosis. They saying there is no evidence of this, but then you read stuff like this and it, it proves my point. So we got to get some clinical trials going on on here to, to prove this and, pub, and, and do a publication on this because there is a connection between this stuff. There's so many people that get epidurals or so many people that go through surgery and then 10 to 20 years later, they end up with brain malfunctioning issues with lesions on their brains or they, they actual acids start building up on their nerves and then they get diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, uh, dementia or multiple sclerosis. See what I'm saying? I'm just saying. It says, I had multiple MRIs, CAT scans, even a lumbar puncture to check the neurological issues. They found a small lesion on my brain. They, look, check this out, y'all. Said they considering it to be multiple sclerosis. It sounds like MS to me because I only had one small lesion. They couldn't diagnose it. Fast forward to September in 2021, my, mo my mobility declined so much that I had needed a motor scooter to get around because I could only walk short distances with assistance. Sister, you have multiple, this sounds like multiple sclerosis. And if, if you were to come to me and I would give you some herbs in a diet, it's going to be a multiple sclerosis herb and diet. I'm just telling you right now because it's what it sounds like. And we get these type of cases all the time where people go and get an epidural or people go and get certain type of uh, uh, anesthesia to, to go under to do surgery and when they do wake up a couple years later they end up with legions on their brain and going through stuff like this so we, we got to talk about this stuff i got married a month look i got married after that a month in my walker that's thing so, so, so she had to get married in her walker later Later that I got really later, it got really bad and I got super weak and I couldn't feel anything. And I went to the hospital where they gave me steroids. Here it go. They gave me steroids. So, you know, what the steroids going to do y'all. What do, if y'all remember the case that we just read before this case, what do steroids do to the body? If y'all remember, let's see who been listening. Let's see. Let's see who been listening. What do the steroids do to the body? She got steroids. What they finna do? Remember, we talked about steroids and we talked about hormones and what they do to the body. Who got it? Who right now? Who really in, writing down these notes? That's right. Uh, Barika Iris. That's right. They shut off the adrenal functioning. Yes, that's right. Hopkins Yisrael. They messes up the adrenal glands. That's right. Jocelyn Kelly. It weakens the adrenals. That's right, y'all. That's right. Celia. I miss Chris James. They do stagnate the lymphatic system, but they mess up the adrenals, y'all. So we already know that we finna have to go after the adrenals because she's been on a couple of rounds of steroids. It says, I felt really good. I received, I received two or more rounds of steroids in November and I felt better. It says I was, and then I was placed on a, I was placed on some medicines for multiple sclerosis patients. Yeah. Uh, to assist with the walker faster the whole year in 2022 i've come and i lost mobility completely because that's what the medicine does to you family and i hope they don't take this take this video down for this but that's what they do i am losing functioning in my hands and in my arms and still no answer i've been researching on my own working towards healing myself naturally but i need help please yaki please let me know uh how could i get help all right, so now we have to understand. So they know it's multiple sclerosis. If they didn't, they wouldn't have gave you medicine for multiple sclerosis. So when you look at what multiple sclerosis is, this is what they say. They say that multiple sclerosis is when the immunological system, which is T cells and B cells, we have to understand that the T cells come from the thymus gland and the B cells come from the bone marrow cells. This is where your blood is birthed from. It's birthed from your bones, your spleen, and your thymus gland. So they say... It's when the T cells or the immunological system start attacking the nerves. Now, the question you have to ask your body is, is your body that stupid? If your body have the capability of you falling down and getting a boo boo and then you you put a bandaid on it and two days later, it completely reheal itself. And then seven days later, you don't even see that scar no more. You know how many times I fell off my bike and bust my knees in my head? You can't see none of that no more. My gunshot wound, you can't even see it no more. My stab wound. That I received when I was, what, 18? You can't even see it no more because the diet I've been on. So if your body have the capability of rehabilitating and healing and rejuvenating itself like that or regenerating itself, then how in the hell is it so stupid where the actual, the actual lymphatic system or what they call the immune system will attack the nervous system? 
Something ain't adding up. What if it's acids in the body and these acids been triggered in the body from the epidural, from the adrenal glands going down because that's what they do when they give you the epidural. These medicines actually dumb down the adrenals, kick on adrenal fatigue, and now you can't mo uh, now you can't utilize the minerals in that you need. So these minerals actually become used in the body and it sits in the body and it corrodes. Same thing as actual iron. Iron phosphate turns into bilirubin inside of the body when the body cannot utilize it and unutilized iron phosphate messes up the liver and that's what gives you that jaundice look. So what happened is when they gave you that, and this is what I've been studying for years, what if the epidural shut down your actual neurological functionings because guess what guess what's in control of your first brain that you call your gut your adrenal glands the intrinsic or the autonomic nervous system then you got the central nervous system which is your brain all of these are ran by melanin neurotransmitters that's being commanded by what the adrenal glands or what you would call the solar plexus chakra so if you give me a medicine that turns that offline and I'm not online, I'm not able to communicate, how am I going to utilize certain minerals? So when these minerals rot or they go into their stage of corrosion, they become acidic. So now we got acidic minerals that's going into the nervous system and, and starting to chew away at the nerves, right? So now guess what's going to happen? The immune system or what I call the lymphatic defense system is going to get activated. And what it's going to do is macrophage is going to go through its stages of phagocytosis and it's going to start eating all the acids on the nervous system. But since the acids corrodes the nervous system, the dendritic cells and the macrophages don't know who cripple blood. So they just kill everybody. So you got the lymphatic system, T cells and B cells looking at the enemy. But now the friend it's called friendly fire. Now the enemy and the cells look the same. So guess what they going to do? The immune system or what I call the lymphatic defense system, which is the T cells, the B cells, the neutrophils, the basal fields, the monofields. They're going to start eating at the nerves because they don't know the difference between the acids and the actual nervous system anymore because the acids are on the nervous system. So if they chew the acids, of course, they're going to chew the nervous system. And this is what you call multiple sclerosis. Now, let's talk about how much acids is truly built up in you. You have so many acids in you that is now burning legions in your brain and it's messing with your mobility. That means your cognition, your cognitive mobility is being messed with certain parts of your brain that deals with you able to be mobile and you able to be walk is now being burnt. That means you have too many acids on the brain. So another thing, amyloid protein. We got to get rid of the amyloid protein. We got to cleanse the body of these actual synthetic steroids, and we have to get the adrenal glands back online. But we got to drain that brain because, you know, when you have lesions in your brain for so long, you can actually mess up the pituitary gland, and that pituitary gland will start growing a tumor, and then you got pituitary cancer. And that's a whole nother beast that, that we got to put down and that we got to heal you up from. So what I would do is I would go on the geogenetic level three package, uh, make sure that you scan brushing towards the kidneys and you need to cleanse out your maxillary cavities. So, you know, we need to bring you in cold and flu like symptoms. If I was you, I would take hot and cold showers. You should jump in the shower or since you uh, completely in the bed, they need to wash you down with cold water for at least five minutes and then switch it to hot warm water for another five minutes just to jumpstart the lymphatic system. We need to give you kidney and adrenal herbs to cut on your adrenals and get your adrenals back online. That way you're filtrating a lot and we need to put you on an all fruit diet. That's the only way to truly heal neurological diseases. I've never in my life seen a disease heal neurologically or an ailment heal neurologically without an all fruit diet. And that's just from me and my experience of, of dealing with all of these different diseases. So that's what I recommend. The geogenetic level three, you need it with an all fruit diet and you need to be wearing about hot and cold showers. You need to be skin brushing towards your kidneys. If you have somebody that's good or if you have somebody over there to do massages, make sure that they're doing lymphatic neural point uh, massages. You can go on my uh, website, click on the education download, click on document downloads, and we walk you through how to do that. And we're going to have to do a liver cleanse on you. But I want to do the liver cleanse in the middle of your cleanse. So buy the package first and then in the middle of your cleanse, when we see you progressing, we'll cleanse out that liver. That's what I recommend. Any questions to this particular case? Y'all can ask real quick. If not, I'm going to open up the phone lines. Any questions for this particular case? Just for and on the record, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration and the products I recommend are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. I am not a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor at all. All. I don't care about it at all. We like nature. We like earth. We like herbs. 
We like fruits. We like using diet, turning our diet to live it to create a healing modality. We don't believe in medicines and we don't believe in the illusion they call disease. People be like, you're not a doctor. I'll be like, hell yeah, I'm not all praise. <laughs> They think they, hey, well, doctors be mad as hell at me. Y'all know I'm, y'all know I'm kicked. Up, uh, I'm, I'm at, I can't even go into certain hospitals in St. Louis, y'all. They hate my ass. But they be like, you're not a doctor. Like that's an insult to me. I show the hell ain't a doc. I don't want to be one. <laughs> okay, how long gonna? This is a good question right here from uh, a night. I can't pronounce your last name, but she, uh, they said how long on the fruit diet before before doing the cleanse. See, the, the whole thing is the fruit diet is the cleanse. Uh, re remember, your body have the capability of miraculously healing itself. So all I'm doing is giving you poisonous herbs to turn on the NRF2 pathway and to click on glutathione to help that purgatory system. All the herbs do is purge your body because they poisonous. Basically, if, if you want to just keep it simplistic, that's what they do. Kind of like alcohol. They, you drink alcohol, next morning you're pooping and you're peeing everywhere and you're throwing up. Same thing the herbs do because it's reacting to the lectins and it's reacting to the anti-chemicals and nutrients inside of the herbs. So the body is healing itself. The fruits is going to hydrate the body to break up a coagulated cells, to break up a coagulated, uh, solidified, calcified mucus and things like that. And then the herbs come through and just snatch it up out of the body, a purgatory effect. So, you know, the, the fruits or the cleanse. So if you're talking about when to add herbs, add it immediately. Add it immediately. But just make sure you mentally prepare for that because it's going to throw you into a healing crisis, boy. You're going to feel it. Sometimes you feel like you're dying when you're not. But it's light at the end of that tunnel. It's light at the end of that tunnel. All right, all praises. All right, I'm going to open up the phone lines. Uh, Y'all can call me on the phone line. Let me plug it up first. I know I was having uh, technical difficulties with it last time. But it should work. We'll answer a few questions, then we're going to get up out of here. I got to do some traveling in the morning. Call me at 708-831-2335. 708-831-2335. We got to do a little test on here because I haven't tested it. 708-831-2335. Holla at me. 708-831-2335. And once y'all see me get on the actual phone, family, please do not be calling back to back to back. Peace, 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 love, light, and healing. Uh, what's your name? Peace. This is Josue. Josue. Hold on, hold on, brother. Let me make sure they can hear you. Keep talking real quick. Peace, family. How's everyone doing? All right, look, y'all, we got somebody online already. Let me know if you can hear them. If you can, let's get this conversation going. But please do not call back to back while I'm already on the phone with somebody because I will get off the live. I'm telling you, because they can't hear if the phone is constantly beeping. And make sure y'all hit the like Peace button everyone. and make sure y'all share this everywhere. Share it, share it, hit the like button. They said they can hear you good. What's going on with you, brother? Talk to me. Peace, brother. Hey, uh, I like your picture, quick, man. Is that, you got your child in your truck, man? <laughs> driving, driving the steering. I said, I like your picture on here. You got your child in your truck, driving your truck. <laughs> uh, I don't know what picture that is. Yeah. Oh, man. okay. I think that's my wife's son. Yeah, I like it. I like it, man. But what's going on, oh, man? Talk yeah, to me. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to update you real quick on, you know, um, we asked you for advice on my wife's blood sugar. Yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah. So the we did the 50-50 like you recommended and uh, her blood sugar levels regulated and everything ended up being good before before the birth. You see that? So so, so just for look, just just for the people, though, I want them to see that. You know, these recommendations I do actually do work and that fruit and that 50-50 do work. So it did work. It regulated our blood sugar. But then after the pregnancy, did it did it take a turn for the worse? What happened? No, no. We had the the home birth, the lotus birth. Everything has been smooth. The baby's the baby was almost uh, nine pounds. OK, good, healthy baby, man. That's what. Congratulations, yeah, brother. He, congratulations. Thank man. you, brother. Yeah, he's a chubby little guy. Good, and, man. Uh, That's beautiful. Beautiful. We, He's, he eats a lot right now. The one question I did have for you right now is my wife wanted to know um, if there is or what you would recommend to be able to produce more breast milk. Uh, raspberry leaf is good for pr pr producing breast milk. Uh, fennel Greek. Tell her to get on some fennel Greek. 
That fenogreek is amazing. And what that fenogreek does is it actually stimulates the pituitary gland to actually produce something called prolactin. So this is what I want her to do. I want her to I want you to go to the local herb store. Right. And when you go to the local herb store, make sure you get you some fenogreek, get uh, get an ounce of fenogreek, get an ounce of uh, raspberry leaf. And you're going to get an ounce of juniper berries. You're going to mix these together equally. And when you mix these together equally, she's going to take it as a tea. Make sure she drink one cup a day of eight ounces. And that's going to help her regulate her milk because it's going to shoot up that uh, prolactin. And that prolactin is going to get those ductals going and she can produce more milk. I'm telling you. Mark my word. Same thing. Okay. I gave you the advice and it worked. This going to work as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she she was um looking at this one uh it's it's like a milk supplement, I guess, that she was looking up. Uh -huh. um, let me see what it has. So it it has some good ingredients. The only things I didn't like about it was like the protein part that had uh, organic pea protein, yeah, brown no, rice protein. Stay, stay away from that. Stay away from that. If she do what I said and she do it the right way uh, and make sure and make sure she's eating stuff that stimulates too, like the berries. Like remember I was talking about in the beginning of the this, uh, this transmission, berries is going to stimulate the pituitary gland. So we really going after uh -huh. the pituitary gland. So berries, berries, berries. If she do everything right and you go out there and you get them herbs now, uh, by the end of next week, her her, her milk supply will increase. Okay, so lots of berries. Yeah, yeah, we could do that for sure. And that and that'll work, man. Congratulations, uh, on the birth, man. You headed at home. It ain't nothing like catching your own baby come out the womb, man. It's the most beautiful feeling ever, bro. Yeah, that it was an amazing experience. She did awesome. I was blown away. I'm super super experience. happy for y'all, man. Congratulations, yeah. congratulations. But that's Thank what. You so much. Hey, so look, that's what you need. Uh, when I, I'm I'm going out of town tomorrow, I'll be back in uh I'll be back in a week. So call in when I get back. I want to hear how it go because I love hearing these good testimonies. Like you said it and it worked. You said it and it worked. This this shows you that the healing is real, brother. One hundred percent. I have one more quick question. Oh, if that's ahead. cool with you. Go ahead. Um, it was because um I did tune into the broccoli lecture. Yeah. And um. I thought it was powerful. I, I, it made a lot of sense to me. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I, I did. You just went out, brother. What you say? Oh. You, you went out on me. Jose. Something's going on with his phone. My bad, Jose. I wish we could have talked more, brother. Hit me up. Hit me up. 708-831-2335. 708-831-2335. You got to hit me up on WhatsApp. Fresno, oh, here you go. Right here. All right. What was the question, brother? Uh, my bad. I think I cut out. That was all good. Let's hurry up and get so, there because there's other people trying to call in too. Yeah. So my aunt, I heard you talk about um, how broccoli can help with uh, radiation. People that had cancer and went through um chemotherapy and all that yes yes it's called yes it's chemo it's chemo protective so what would you recommend um because i want to grow some uh some broccoli sprouts hey, for my you, aunt you amazing grower brother only do broccoli sprouts that's what you need broccoli sprouts broccoli sprouts anybody that's new to this channel and think that i didn't lost my damn mind because i'm talking about broccoli uh just go watch the lecture i did a few days ago three days ago on broccoli and if you ain't convinced then hey i'm wrong <laughs> <laughs> but broccoli sprouts broccoli sprouts is what you need so make sure you grow broccoli sprouts and put it in her salads and stuff like that that uh it actually cleans up chemotherapy out of the body and it act as a natural chemotherapy to the body make sure that you also give her some soursop leaves soursop leaves and some soursop flesh that's very good as well just make sure you don't give her the seeds of these things how much um broccoli would you recommend uh, uh to lit give her literally uh, about Man, for real, for real, what we was looking at, they were saying four to five, just just four to five grams uh, is good of it. So for just give her, make her a salad, grab a handful of sprouts and mix it into her salad. All right, for sure. I'm going to let my cousin know that I'm going to start growing her some. All right, and let me know so, how that is, too. Let me know how that is, too. Most def. I appreciate your time, brother. Oh, it's all good, brother. Peace to you. Peace, peace, family. How you feeling? Hello? Peace, peace. Can you hear me? Hear you. Hi, right, what's your name, brother? Hi, my name is uh, Aaron. Aaron. Uh, Aaron Owens. I got. Uh, I'm 18 years old. 
I have a, a rare skin disorder called recessive dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. Uh-huh. It's also called the butterfly condition uh-huh. because my skin is as fragile as a butterfly's wing. Yeah, I know exactly I what you're talking about. My, my body doesn't make a protein called collagen 7, uh-huh. which is like the glue that keeps the dermis attached to the epidermis. Uh-huh. So if I were to scratch my skin, it would come right off. Like if I put tape on my skin and pulled it off, my my top layer epidermis, it will come right off. And so I'm covered in bandages all throughout my body. Um, 80% of my body is covered in scars. Mm. Uh, uh, Again, I'm 18 years old. I'm 4 foot 11, so I'm really short because – most of the nutrition I get goes to healing my wounds, uh, and also I have really bad dandruff. I'm sorry uh, to hear this, man. So before we keep going, can y'all please quit calling? We, we, we he need help, y'all. So quit calling, y'all. I'm gonna write down your number real fast. I'm gonna make sure we call you. I want to work with you. Hi, what's your name yeah. again? Aaron, Aaron Owens. Y'all keep calling. I'm going to start blocking y'all numbers. This is mad disrespect for y'all. All All right. So uh, to me, it sounds like, have you ever had your thyroid and your parathyroid uh, checked? No. So we, I want to, so this is what I want to do. I will order the lab work for you. And uh, I'm going to call you tomorrow. Uh, I got a flight tomorrow, but once I land where I'm landing, you have my word. If I don't call you, Kawhi will call you, and I want to order you some blood work. Uh, what state you stay in? California. Okay, Cali. So I'm going to order you some blood work, and uh, I want to order you a full-on thyroid and liver panel. Uh, and I want to see okay. what's going on with your parathyroid. Uh, you know, a healer that's trying to play healer uh, 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 suggest a lot of things to you right now, but I can't even do that until I look and see if it's a, th- a parathyroid issue because the parathyroid is in control of the connective tissue. And me personally, I've heard of this disease, but I've never dealt with it personally myself. So I want to take you on as a, as a, as a personal client though, you know, and, and see what mm-hmm. we can do about this. But I do want to get you some blood work first. Is that cool? Yeah. Also, um, my ferritin levels, they're skyrocketed. Like my ferritin level is at 1,800 wow. and my iron levels is, is pretty low. And my doctors say that it's due to inflammation. Yeah. Yeah. Inflammation. Exactly. So your doctor is right about that inflammation and it sounds like it's inflammation between the epidermal dermal layer of your skin and then the mesodermal layer of your skin. So, uh, I want so to, you've, check- you've heard of the, the butterfly condition. Yeah. I've heard of the butterfly condition. I got a question though. Have they checked you for parasites too? Like, have you been checked for a parasite? No. See, yeah, we need to do all of that. So, look, before we before we do anything, let's let's do a consultation. I want you ain't got to pay for the consultation because I'm very interested into uh, getting this going. So you ain't got to. Yeah, pay for and one. also for over a decade, my scalp, I just have like severe dandruff. Like every single day, I'd be using the comb and I'd be brushing off the dandruff, and it just it's just all over, and it's just so is that it's really hard. So I'm wondering if that's if that's yeast buildup or is that just dead skin from your scalp? Do you think it's skin from your scalp or you think it's My, really dangerous? A long time a long time ago, I went to a dermatologist and they said I had a yeast infection. Okay, see, look, I, I I bet you I know what this is. Then okay, see now these are the questions we need to talk about. What else going on with you? Keep talking. I'm gonna just write down. Uh, so we got yeast. Uh, you most definitely got the the parathyroid issue. Your skin, you know, not producing the protein to connect your skin together. Yeah. Also. This is probably because of my condition, but my skin is like always dry and itchy. And then as it gets itchy, I scratch it and I scratch my skin off like it's completely raw and I get blisters. Okay. Yeah. So that's the yeast. I bet you that is. Okay. So look, let's do this. I'm going to order you a full CBC. We're going to have to do a full CBC chart. Uh, We're going to mm-hmm. do a full thyroid panel. We're going to do a full liver panel. And I want to check your adrenal secretions. All right. So uh, yeah. So what can I do? So like I said, like 70 to 80% of my body is covered in scars. Yes. That's the thyroid. The scars, yeah. The scars are extremely weak. Like 
But that's Compared because you're not produ- that's because you're not producing the actual amino acids or what they collagen call protein, seven. yeah, the collagen seven to even have a, a scar build up to actually regenerate your tissues. And uh, if, if, and you can look this up yourself once we get off the phone. Just Google the the thyroid and parathyroid in connection with uh, connective tissue in the in in the protein protein seven. Like it'll blow your mind what the connection is. Now it's making sense though because you have a lot of yeast build up too, meaning you're not utilizing. So I'm, I bet you it's a bacteria issue. It seems like you. It's the same like it's a parathyroid and a bacteria issue. But I just don't want to tell you stuff that what it sounds like. I want to be for sure. I want to be for sure with you, so I want to uh, order this blood work, and then let's look at it together, and let's go from there. Oh, he hung up. Well, I got his number, and I got his information, y'all. We're going to reach out to him. I'm going to make sure I keep y'all in the loop on this case with Aaron. Uh, y'all, just send some prayers up for Aaron. Send some affirmations up for Aaron. He only 18, and he going through this, y'all. This is crazy. Beaumont, TX. Peace, peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, Jackie. How are you? I'm doing good. Max was calling. Yes, this is Missy from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas in the building. What's up with you, goddess? How you feeling? I'm fine. I am actually, um, I just want to say that you're great and that we love what you do. Keep doing what you do because we are listening and I'm sending so much love your way. Oh, praises. I um, appreciate you. What you what you got going on? Talk to us. Talk to your family. Man, I just, well, hear, just hearing Aaron, man, that just kind of threw me for a little. I feel so sad. I'm ready to just I know, and I, I really wish here. he could have kept going because yeah. I actually have a friend who's um, who actually deals with alopecia and everything like that. So I'm sitting here listening to you on my TV now as we speak. Yeah, I'm ready to fly him into the clinic. He make me not even want to go out of town, but I got to shoot for this film. We shooting this Netflix film, so we flying around trying to get these episodes down. That way it can uh, air in uh, July. Mm. But enough about me. What's going on with you, Queen? Talk to me. Well, I wanted to call about my two-year-old. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is Eli. He actually just turned to My three-year-old uh, name, Eli. And... Eli, yeah. Wow. All praises. All praises. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wanted to ask, um, so lately he's been, well, really not lately, really since he's been a few months, um, he's been congested a lot. Um, I actually had him when I was 20 years old, so I'm 22 now. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been following you and your teachings for about a year and a half. Um, and so I did get into, you know, juicing him some fruits, Mm -hmm. um, I kind of started putting him on mullen leaf because I heard you talk Good about job. mullen leaf. Okay, you own it. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm he I'm kind of having the same issues. Um, I got rid of the ear infections, but it's mainly just congestion. Um, I stopped giving him the antibiotics from the doctor. Okay, because that's of the main course, thing that's going that's going that's going to congest him up too. Because the antibiotics means against life, and what they do is kill the bacteria. And the moment your mm-hmm. bacteria leave the body. Uh, you're going to get a bad mucosa stimulant response. So, you know, if he, mm-hmm. if he don't, and he's only two, so he don't have that much bacteria in him. He's building up his bacteria profile. So if you're giving him mm-hmm. antibiotics, it will wipe him out. So we gonna most definitely need to put him on fermented, uh, a couple of fermented foods, but we can mm-hmm. replace the bacteria inside of his body. Okay, what kind of fermented foods would uh, you recommend? Uh, pickles. Uh, you can, and I recommend you do them yourself. You can go on YouTube and do them yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yaki TV will be out in like a week or two. Uh, and okay. Dan, Dan, the wives did do some fermented videos for you can see how, mm-hmm. for you can see how they do it. But you know, mm-hmm. until then, just go on YouTube and see how they ferment organic uh, things. Like you can ferment your cucumbers and c- turn it into pickles. You can ferment mm-hmm. onions and pickle your onions and give them these things because that fermentation come with a uh, bi- mm-hmm. bi- bi- bifidobacteria and lactose bilis bacteria, and that's what he's going to okay. need to reline his gut, and that's going to help mm-hmm. him actually balance his mucosa membrane that's in his gut to keep him from having all these mucosa stimulant reactions. Now, my thing mm-hmm. is with the with the congestion, is it really congested or it's coming out do you see his nose running his ears running his eyes running or is it compacted with inside of him um actually when i started giving him the mullen leaf i did notice um his body kind of had a a cold flu reaction like his nose would run all the good, time good, like good. green mucus yes good. his ears would run um but i did they did make me put tubes in his ear um was it messing up so his equilibrium cur- or something 
Um, I'm not sure. I know that every every time he would get an ear infection, his lymph nodes would be swollen. They're actually kind of swollen right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm just having trouble on how to clear it up. And okay, I know I that it, it may be some of the foods that he's eating and that's as what well. I was gonna say. So, we have to go back to the food. So what yeah. is his diet right now? Honestly, it's horrible. And, you know, I'm a young mom. I'm trying to get into it myself. Um, but I definitely don't have him drinking milk anymore. But see, but um, because you, I knew that played a part in it as but well. That's the beginning stage, you know, like milk is the beginning. Mm-hmm. That's off back. But if you still mm-hmm. see that he's having a mucosa response to other foods, mm-hmm. we have to take it mm-hmm. off because then we're going to get into what happened if this mucus start locking in his lungs, then we're going to have another problem. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I know you're a young mother. I'm not uh, mm-hmm. being down on you or speaking down on you, but you got to get to the mm-hmm. point where, you know, do you do you love your son enough to have tough love against him and say, I'm your mama, you're not eating this because I want you to live? Or do you love him mm-hmm. in that petty way that, you know, we love our slave masters and you give him mm-hmm. whatever he want and then he end up being severely chronically ill from it? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? You have to choose you have to choose today on which way you're gonna mm-hmm. continue to love him. And I say you we love him to make make sure he see longevity. I started this whole video mm-hmm. off talking about how our children is not even living longer than us, goddess. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we are we are in a Absolutely. pandemic in itself. So what I recommend is you put him on a mucusless diet. A mucusless diet. Now with this mucusless mm-hmm. diet, uh you can actually find it on my website at www.yakiawaken.com. What you're gonna mm-hmm. do is you're gonna go to the education tab and when you click on okay. the education tab, you're gonna click on the uh it's called the geogenetic diet program. That's what he gonna need. And it's it's a mixture of fruits and vegetables on there. He okay. need to be on a mucusless diet and you can even do some things like if he do good throughout the week, you can make him a bake of uh, apples make, and add cinnamon to it. That's completely <laughs> mucusless. It will not draw mucus inside the body. So that will be like his treat. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you get into the fruits and make the fruits taste good. Like, you know, mm-hmm. use his fruits as candy. Uh, you gonna have to kind of mm-hmm. trick him out into eating these foods. Make sure you, you you're like, let him know that, you know, eating fruits make him strong like Superman. You know, he's two years old. So he and I know this sound crazy. I want to sound like I'm, I'm I'm mistreating children but their minds is is easily manipulative you can manipulate mm-hmm. him into eating fruits you just got to make it mm-hmm. you got to show him the benefits that in his imagination you know yeah you, like show him the equivalence of eating uh apples to to superman the equivalence of mm-hmm. eating berries that's what's going to turn you into black panther and make mm-hmm. show him a black panther movie make him excited mm-hmm. to eat these things and then why yeah. you got him on that you can get our lung cleanser kit off the website and this will actually cleanse his entire mesoareal area of all of the mucus or you can do it mm-hmm. yourself. You know, make sure you get you some fenogreek, keep the mother mm-hmm. leaf, uh, write these things down okay. real fast. I am. I'm typing it right now. Okay. So mm-hmm. not sweet potatoes and cinnamon, y'all apples, apples and cinnamon family, apples and cinnamon, not sweet potatoes and sweet potato is a mucusless food. Y'all it is a mucusless food. Long as you do not fry them family, you can bake them and it still will be mucusless and it's full of magnesium, which is what she's finna need too, family. So what I would do is, uh, you're going to need some mullein leaf, which you got, make sure you get mm-hmm. some coat's foot, Coats foot. You say coats foot? Yep. C O L T Z foot. Coats foot. Okay. Uh, make sure you get some lung wart. Lung wart. Okay. And make sure you get some fenogreek. Mm-hmm. And please get that baby on some licorice root. He needs it. We got to stimulate okay. them adrenal glands to get them lungs, you know, pumping uh, uh, in the right way. And what the mucus, what, what the what the licorice root, what the fennel Greek is going to do is going to go through and it's going to actually pull the actual mucus from the body. What the mullein leaf and what the coast foot and what the lugwort is going to do is going to actually mm-hmm. dissolve the mucus in the body. So we got three herbs that's going to dissolve the mucus in the body. Then we got two herbs mm-hmm. that's going to pull the mucus while it's dissolving. Okay. And so with all of those herbs you just named, I just make those into a tea for him yeah, to make, drink? Make them into a tea for him to drink. And then what you can do mm-hmm. is do not get any agave. Agave is highly recommended by people, but agave is, is it, it makes you sick because they have to heat it up to make it taste sweet. So don't give him okay. agave. Give him some honey. Manuka honey. He's uh, he's two years old, so he can have honey. Manuka honey. How do you spell manuka? Uh, sister, you finna embarrass me on this live. M A. Oh, hold on. M A N U K A. M A N U K A. Manuka honey. Okay. 
Okay, I got it. Um, thank you so much. Cause I've I've been trying to figure this out for my little man. I don't want to say that I'm experimenting with him, but we're kind of growing together. You know, I've like I said, I've been watching you for a year and a half. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to kind of get into the lifestyle myself, you know, no, and to it. pass it down to him. So I really appreciate it. Um, may I ask one more question? One more question, y'all, because they on here they on here talking about some. I think they only need to ask one question. But go ahead, sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said go to the education tab and yes. then go where? So you're gonna click on her. I share my screen real quick and show you. So okay. look just look at your TV real fast. So okay. you go to Okay, so you click on there, you go to education tab. When you go to education tab, what you do is you're gonna click on document downloads. I'm clicking on it now. Now, a okay. lot of people see this white screen pop up, y'all. Just scroll up and down and the white screen will go away. So you're gonna see, you see all the stuff popping up. What to mm-hmm. expect? Make sure you download all this. Read all of this stuff. Okay. All of this. But what you're going to need is the geogenetic therapy diet yes. program. And okay. I'm pulling it up now for you. This is the geogenetic okay. diet program. Let's see if we can pull it up real fast. Okay. Download. I am a member. Download. So it's pulling up now. And this is a beautiful okay. sheet. So here it is. And it gives you it gives you the weeks and everything. See? So like you can you can do it in weeks. You can start them off with grapes, mangoes, cherries, apples, peaches, uh, bananas. Do not put keep bananas out of this one for him because he got mucus. Because okay. bananas, yeah. So everything on here is mucus list except the bananas. Okay. And what about is it green or red apples? Uh you can do green and red. Mix them up because the red apples are sweet. And the green apples okay. are astringent, meaning it's going to pull more mucus. So if you want to know which one will pull more mucus, it will actually mm-hmm. be the uh, green apples. Okay. And he loves apples. So that's a good thing. See, and okay. a, a man can survive solely off apples. Apples have every mm-hmm. mineral and amino acid you need. See? So, like, apple him up. Apple him to okay. life. You know how they say? Kiss him to death. Apple him to life. Yes. You see what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so that's what you need. And that's how you get there. Is you got... Uh, if you got any questions too, just reach out to our email at orders at yakiawaken.com. Okay, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you in Houston. Yes, uh, we'll be in Houston. We moved the day back. It's uh January, it's March 14th. March the 14th, we'll be in Houston. Tickets will be for sale okay. next week. Okay. Thank you so much. All Peace, right. King. Peace, God. Hey, God is make sure you get them tickets early. You know it's gonna sell out. Oh, I will. I'm already in the door. I already All right. know. All right, all praises. All right, peace, God. I'll pray to see you too. Bye bye. Peace, peace. I got time for one more call, y'all. One more call, and then I got to get up out of here. GA. Peace, peace. D- d- that's right, Letitia. <laughs> an apple a day, keep the doctor away. How you How you doing, love? An uh, apple a day, keep the doctor away. Peace, peace. I got time for one more call, y'all. One more call. Hey, uh, brother, turn my brother or sister, turn, turn my TV, turn Hello. TV down. You got to turn the TV down in the background. Okay. That's right, Letitia. The apple a day keep the doctor away. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? I'm still on here. Okay, hi. This is Cheryl Hunt. I, oh my God. Um, my son is in a flare. Uh huh. Like right and, now. And um, I, yes, right now, and he needs help so bad. He's so, losing blood. So look, sister. Um, sister, look. Yes. Hang up. Hang up right now and call nine one one right now. We already did that. Is they on their way? We've been in the hospital for a week. So y'all, you in the hospital right now? No, he discharged them and put them on all these steroids and opiates and, and all that that's, stuff. Look, that's what's flaring them up. He in the flare as we speak, though. Yes. Hang it's, up. It's ca- today has been an okay day. Um, last night, like up all night long, but today has been an okay day. I've been juicing um, papaya juice. I juiced. Uh, cucumber juice like you've suggested uh-huh. um, I was supposed to order your package but I was unable financially but now I am able to order it so, so um, is, so what type of flare is he in the flare is in his lung like where's the flare up at his gut his gut ulcerative oh, okay. colitis okay ulcerative you had me see sister you got me over here about to have a heart attack I'm thinking he ain't breathing I'm like why you call no, me sister he's breathing. call the he's doctor breathing. Ulcerative call, the, colitis. call 911 <laughs> alright let me breathe real quick no Okay, thank you. All right. I'm like, okay. oh man, I'm like, sister, you called the wrong person now. Like, I don't no. look, I'm look, I'm 
I'm anti them to a certain extent. I'm not extremist. If you can't breathe and it's a call nine one one, please. All right, so okay. good. All right, so uh, what what what's going on with him? What's the diet they got him on? So they have him on an all liquid diet. Um, so okay, that's far, good. that's good. That's good. They give him broth. You know the vegetable broth and all that. They stuff, giving him bone broth. I'm giving him bone broth. We're giving him bone broth. Okay. Okay. So this this is what I recommend while he's going through that. Uh, keep him on the liquid diet. Uh, because I'm pretty sure he's not digesting his food properly because there's so much it's inflammation not. going on with inside of the gut tissue. Uh, but this is most definitely a adrenal problem. Do he have any peristalsis going on? Uh, we not sure. So, uh, not so, sure. so we're not even sure at that point yet. So look, this is what I would do. Uh, I would switch him over into an all green and fruit vegetable diet. So I would do 50, 50 because He's going to need to get his absorption is. Do y'all know if he absor absorbing anything? Like when he went to the doctor, did they have to give him a lot of fluid? Was he dehydrated? Did they have to keep him on an IV for a long time? They did. Yeah, at one point, but they took him off because okay. they they took tests, his blood and other tests, and they came back okay. They came okay. back fine. So they stopped the liquid drip. Okay, they ask him what peristalsis is, and peristalsis is basically when your body lacks the ability to move and digest your food because your intestines is too inflamed. What's in control of peristalsis, y'all, or, or these peristalsis muscles is the adrenal glands. So we know that it's an adrenal glands issue, uh, but before we can get that back working, we have to drink, get the adrenal glands back online, and we're going to do this through the fruits. And I think when you order the package this time, we're going to have to make it into all liquids. We're going to do tinctures, and we're going to do uh, herbal teas, and that's how we're going to do it, family. So matter of fact, let me write you your name down real quick okay cheryl uh -huh. and and cheryl hunt cheryl and i was supposed to um order and send you my order number i remember we spoke and i was gonna drive up there but life oh, happened. You, sister yeah you're supposed to come yeah. up here and do a, uh, do a I, uh, consultation and stuff yes i was unable but i'm in texas right now i had to fly out here on an emergency flight you know that's my son mm-hmm but um, I'm trying to build him back up. He's so low. He's maybe 110 pounds. He's 28 years old. So he going he gonna to be low until we get his adrenals back online and he's able to actually completely eat food and absorb it the right way. So I wouldn't really too much worry about the weight. Let's just worry about getting the inflammation out of his body. So uh, for people that's online... Herbs you're going to need like this is marshmallow root. Marshmallow root is going to be very, 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 very good for his stomach because the marshmallow root is going to go through his intestinal tract and it's going to actually get rid of all the acids and take away the inflammation of his intestinal wall. So, you know, when we send you, we're going to send you a whole lot of marshmallow root for you to make as a tea. Uh, another one is slip, slippery am bark. These are things that we're going to need. But until you order and get the herbs, you need to have him on a 50 50 all fruit. Now, do not give him any acidic fruits like he won't get astringent fruits. You need to get him on sub citric fruits that's what he needed like sub citric fruits and what i can do is i can pull you watching me on tv or on your phone yes i see you okay i'm gonna pull up on my TV. all right i'm gonna pull it up so this is what you need to have oh. him on and get him on this asap as soon as you can so let me go up out of this okay, okay. all right I'm, I'm showing you now can you see my screen i see it you actually see it pulled up and everything well it, nothing is pulled up yet what but about now i'm looking at not yet. Oh, let me give me one second, sister. Now, can you see it? Nope, it hasn't come up yet. The show is showing on mine. Okay, there it is. Okay, okay, cool. There it is. So you're gonna go to my website, go to the actual education uh, tab, and you're gonna click on document downloads. Uh -huh. And what we're gonna click on, we're gonna click on the food combination chart. That's what you need. Okay. The food combination chart. Let me see. Where is it at? What to expect? Pastoral facts. Where is that chart at? Here we go. Alkaline combination chart. So we're going to click on that. We're going to download it. We're going to go through. I'm going to show you exactly what to give him. This will actually take the inflammation out of his stomach so he can at least start eating again. And, and get, mark my words. Just give it about a couple of weeks. You're going to be like, wow, this stuff really works. Show you that the herbs are really for the healing of the nation. It's crazy. Okay. I think you. Okay. There it is. It's, it's popping up. Alkaline you know. food combination chart. Yeah. Hold on. I'm having some internet issues now. You got it pulled up on yours? No, I'm watching you on TV. But I know I, I can get to it. Okay. So what you're going to do is 
you're going to pull up the uh, document. Let's see if it uploads. If it don't, then it don't. But you're going to go to the education tab. You're going to click on the actual alkaline food combination chart. What you're going to do is you're going to be only giving him. Okay, here we go. Thank God. You're going to be giving him only sub citric and, and sweet fruits. Don't give him any acidic ones right now because of what he's going through. And it's going to tear up that bowel before it even turned alkaline. We need the alkaline coming in and alkaline going out with that, with the package. If you can't even afford the package right now, you need to run to the store, get you some marshmallow, uh, leaf, some marshmallow root and get you some slippery mm -hmm. am root inside of these are alkaline enzymes and some corn silk ears, corn silk ears, purple corn silk ears. Purple corn silk ears. ears, purple corn silk ears, marshmallow root. And you're going to get you some uh, and you want to get you some slippery and bark, the inner bark, not the outer bark, but the inner bark. OK. And what these things are going to do is they're going to literally neutralize all the acids in his gut and they're going to buffer out all the inflammation in his gut. And once the inflammation go down, now he's able to eat and swallow and and go through his, 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 his peristalsis movement again. And he can actually get rid of stuff and he'll be able to start absorbing all his phytonutrients and chemistry again. So mm -hmm. here go the chart right here. I just pulled it up. So what we need to start looking at on the chart. So these are the citric things is he going to stay away from. He's going to stay away from key limes. He's going to stay away from grapefruits. He's going to stay away from oranges. He's going to stay away from pineapple. He's going to stay away from pomegranates. He's going to stay away from tangerines, plum tomatoes, green apples, blueberries, and blue palms. These are what he's going to do 50-50. I want him to do 50-50 of all three of these, which is melons, sweet fruits, and sub-citric fruits. So your sub-citric fruits will be like your red apples, your apricots, all of your berries, your cherries, your figs, your mangoes. Keep them off of peaches, though. So these are things you don't you need to keep away because these are uh, uh, gordogens, meaning they're grow gorder. And right now we need mm -hmm. this thyroid acting properly for he can actually go through his metabolic uh, process perfectly. So you're going to keep them off peaches and pears. Okay. And nectarine, because these are called gordogens. So you're going to okay. have them on apples, apricots, all berries, cherries, figs, mangoes. We're going to keep them off of peaches, pears. We're going to keep them on grapes, and we're going to take them off of nectarines. All right. Another okay. one you're going to keep them off of is bananas. Bananas okay. you're going to keep them off of. Keep them off of date plums and keep them off of coconut, too, unless it's coconut water. Keep them off the flesh. Okay. He drinks have. that coconut water. Good, good. Don't give him the flesh because it's high in arginine and it's going to be a cellular proliferation, mean, meaning that it can, it, can, it can agitate histines inside of the body. Okay. All right, keep them off all dry fruits. No raisin, no prunes, no figs. Okay. All right, now what you're going to try to get him a lot of, if you can, watermelon with seeds, cantaloupe with okay. seeds. We got that. All right, keep them off cantaloupe. the bitter melon and honeydew with seeds. Okay, we got that too. All right, so now I, we. I juice some cantaloupe. Is uh, that good? Yes, yes, you can juice it. You can juice it, but you know, uh, just keep on because he's he's on a liquid fast right now. So keep him on there. Yeah. And then these are gonna be the first foods you introduce him to once you see that he's ready to eat. You ain't gonna throw him in with the wolves. You are gonna test it out. You are gonna give him the most watery fruits ever just to see if he digested and swallow it properly and see how it move through his bowel walls. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go down. These are what you need to juice as well. I want to go to uh. Uh, what you say, low non-starchy, uh, non-starchy vegetables. These are mucilage yeah. vegetables. You're going to juice kale like crazy. Juice your kale, but you're going to mix it with something else that's going to actually bring more water to it. So you're going to mix the kale with watercress and romaine. Okay. All right. Make sure you do war more romaine and water than kale. Okay. All right. Now, make sure you throw some parsley leaves inside of there to help get them kidneys online. Okay. All right. And literally, that's it. That's what he need. And mix those, doing it all variations. Give it to him. Make sure that you're not mixing the fruits with the vegetable juice because we don't want to set in no fermentation because he already got gut issues. But, I mean, for right. the most part, that's it. Now, do that until you get the herbs. And I'm telling you, just watch. I want you to see it for yourself on how quick you turn him around. If I was you, though, I would go to the herbal store as, as, as quick as possible and actually get him uh, actually get him what I was talking about. Okay, first thing tomorrow. Okay, so you got any more questions? No, I appreciate you. And tell, I sent Kawhi a text message. Tell her, thank you. I mean, she didn't respond, but okay. I got you tonight. So right, I, I'm, you. I feel I'll blessed. Sure, I'll make sure I tell Kawhi that. All right, thank All right. you. Oh, no, thank you, guys. All right, right bye-bye. All right, that was my last question, y'all. Plus, my camera went dead, so I'm on my, my actual laptop my laptop screen. So that shows you that it's a sign that I need to go. <laughs> so, uh, hey, I love y'all and Deaton the Truth. Hey, where you from? 
You know, once we get off this live, make sure you state where you're from on the comment board after we get off the live. Make sure you like and you share this stuff. Uh, we going to be live. We back live. We back doing this stuff every day, y'all. We didn't we didn't went so hard the camera done went dead, y'all. So uh that's just my time for me to go. I hope y'all learned something from this whole entire transmission. The website is www.yakiawaken.com. Uh utilize the entire website. It is not broken. Move slow as hell because we get like how Amazon and Walmart get people on their website. We get millions of people on our website, y'all. No, no lie. So it do move a little bit just slow. So if you do see a white screen on it. Uh, make sure that you scroll down and it will pop up. The new website will be available on the 25th, hopefully, if they done with the website and everything is working properly. I love y'all. I love my sales. Peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the guys. Peace to the earth. March the 14th, we will be in Houston, Texas, y'all. It's going to be sold out. So the moment you see them tickets available, make sure you grab them. I'm going to introduce some amazing stuff to you, family. All praises. Yes, STL. That's where I'm at. STL, St. Louis in the building. So I love y'all indeed in the truth. Peace to the guys. Peace to the earth. Shalom. Lacha. I need a tie. I need a have a tie. I love y'all. A thumb. I need to have a thumb. I love y'all. Peace, peace. Like, comment, and share, family.